Hello, hello, hello. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Trying something new. That's why we're late. Hold on. How do I? Okay, remove. There we are. <laughs> we're back, we're back, we're back. Yay, Yay. we're home. Hi, guys. Hi, so everyone. happy to be home. So happy to be home. Thank you, everyone that came along on the journey with us over the weekend. You guys yes, are guys. awesome. Thank you. And for everyone that supported us through the craziness of the weekend, thank you also for that. Um, with the super chats and the backdoor chats, and um, we really appreciate it. I have to say, um, it was an absolute, absolute pleasure to meet T. Well, same here. It was. And I have to tell you guys, T is incredible. When I tell you, I feel like I need to move my lava lamp, but I'm not going to touch it. She's in, She's incredible. Like, she's the, you know how you have that friend? I think a lot of us have that friend that, like, like she'll... Like she'll run down the list, like as we're walking out the door. You got your phone, you got the key. Did you turn off the curling iron? Did you get the did you get this? Uh, whatever it was. Like she goes down the list, and I'm like, yep, got it, got it, got it. She's that friend. Like she makes sure that everything is just, and I just have to tell you, not because you showered my kids with gifts at Christmas time, which you did. Thank goodness. Cause I hardly had to buy anything for them and not because you brought them those awesome constant teas, but they adore you. They absolutely adore you. For them. Yeah. And they, um, I have, I have with your permission, I have some, um, I got chills <laughs> and I'm control. Oh I got, my god! I got some video. I got some video. We had um, we had karaoke night Sunday night in our room. The girls have forfeited going and hanging out with their girlfriends to come and hang out with T. Not with me. I mean, with me too. But they say to come hang out with T because they think that she's so so cool. They oh, love you. Oh, yeah, I love them too. And hey, listen, to you're awesome too. I got coffee in bed every morning. <laughs> <laughs> I got coffee in bed every morning. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I made her coffee and brought it to her while she was lying in bed. Brought her coffee because she treated her the queen that she is Aww, so thanks yeah it was it was great it was great i we i didn't want her to leave and um neither, neither did the girls she didn't get to spend as, as much time with uh Cesarina as she did with angelina um because Chesie had a commitment to her team and had to do you know team stuff yeah, yeah i felt bad every time because we'd go out we went to brian's Chesie couldn't come we went sightseeing. We went down to Chinatown. We went to dinner. Chessie couldn't come, you know. Yeah. I felt bad for Chessie, but you guys made up for it that la that uh, Sunday night. You guys had a really good time. The kids oh, had a yeah. ball. Yeah, the kids had a ball. So let's welcome some of our friends. Believable Blessings. Nope, you are nope. registered with both of us. You're good, Believable Blessings. All good. Thank you. And Shriker, thank you so much for being here. Bolo Buddies, you guys, the Bolo Buddies challenge is still up. I'm going to be doing my five items video that got picked. Um, probably after we go live. I ran, out, I ran out of time to do it. I was going to do it before we went live, but I ran out of time. T has hers up. Yes. Uh, she did hers as a short, so you can go over and watch it and go over and support her um, her challenge. And there's 30 other YouTubers. And I'm eBay. shutting it off. I'm shutting it off. I'm shutting it off. <laughs> it's like one thing to hear that when we're live and <laughs> having to hear it like all weekend. I was like, turn that off. Well, if we got one more notification from Instagram, <coughs> Miss Bolo <Courtney>. buddies, <laughs> you're Bolo busted. My uh, my husband my husband is so tired of hearing it too. He's like, is that Courtney again? Is that Courtney? <laughs> you know that Instagram that Instagram <laughs> link. It's like going on and on and on and on. So I guess it's Courtney. <laughs> here's our stores. There's mine. There's tea. Frank Thank Perez. Hey, Frank. 
Oh, tonight, you know what? I, I am too. And you know what? I made an announcement last night at Big Barn saying that you were coming home to do Lava Lamp and you didn't put it up. I know. I came home and Massimo had made pasta with homemade sauce. And I was so hungry and I ate and then I fell into a food coma. I was going to go set it up and I fell into a food coma. And T, I don't know about you, but my legs are killing me. No, because I do walk. I mean, you know, it's one. It, it, I don't live in the city, but I used to work in the city. So I do kind of walk a little bit more. Um, so no, they're not. But we did do a lot of walking. It's good we to walk. You have to get out and walk a little more. I know we did a lot of walking and I was saying to T the night that we were in Chinatown, which we had the most delicious faux soup ever. Um, it was raining that night. So, and I had sneakers on and they were a little bit slippery and you know, those metal grates on the, like the city sidewalks. Yeah, like, you, were you have to walk around them. Like, cause otherwise they're like wicked slippery. So I was like trying not and, and T and and the high heel stuck in that. I've done that in the city before. Oh my God. And T and Angelina were like, they were like marching. They were like marching like 10 feet in front of me. I'm like, wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, yep. Shriker's got LLL. We'll be back on tonight. Thank you, Shriker. Thank you for dropping that. Appreciate it. Junebug. Well, hey, Junebug. Welcome home, T and Donna, or Donna and T. Glad we are all back together right where we need to be. And the fun begins. Hey. Yeah, Junebug. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Even though I was live like all weekend, I missed doing this, like sitting down and like being able to really see like the chat. And hi, Dora. Hey, hello, Dora. Sweetheart, Lindsay Ann. Hello. Hey, Welcome Lindsay. in. Little Martin's Nest. Hello. Hey, Little Martin's Nest. Little Martin's Nest will be in Lava Lamp Live tonight for sure. She probably misses it too. Lana, hello. Hey, Lana. Susan. I feel a nap coming on. Oh, oh no, Susan. It's all right. We plan on being on for quite a while. So if you need to go take a little cat nap, go ahead. We'll be here. Oh yeah. I added some I added some um, minutes because Mr. Buys a lot wasn't done yet. So I wanted to just in case you guys were over there bidding, I wanted to give I know one. Nancy Newell was. I wanted to give everybody some congratulations, uh, Nancy. I think she bought uh, Brian out today. <laughs> oh, really? Awesome. Well, I know the one lot she won was like eight fifty. Hi, Nikki. Hello, sweetheart. Annie, welcome in. Hello, hey, Annie. It's so good to see you guys. So good to see you all. So so good. Uh, let's see. My chat just skipped a minute. K Fry, welcome Hi, in. Kay Fry. Leon, Susan Hi, Arrington. Leon. I hope you're completely on the Hi, bed. Feeling better. Saxton. Hey, Saxton. Man, I'll tell you what, Saxton. Oh, my God, Saxton, you would have had a ball. <laughs> Saxton, if I have a book of room at the Hilton. And Billy, again, I'm inviting you. You would fit right in, girl. You, you won't have to bring right any in. of your own tomatoes, trust me. Yeah, you would fit right in. I swear, I got high just from the fumes. Holy cow. Nose picking. Hello. Hey, nose picking. Welcome. Uh-oh, what happened here? Hey, Nikki, thought you were mad at me not talking to me anymore. There's Aww. no, there's no, there's no crying at the auctions. Yeah, no crying at the auctions. I mean, I don't know what's going on, but there's no crying. You can't cry for any reasons. You can't cry. Secret agent is back in town. Hello. Hey, hello. Secret agent. Shell UK. Hello. Hey, Shell. Steven. Hey, Steven. Steven changed his YouTube name again. Welcome in, sweetheart. Welcome in. He might be on a different device. Sometimes if you come in on a different device, your oh, real name maybe. shows up. Hi, Renee. Hi, Renee. Hope you're well. Good to see you in the chat. Um, Jabby's Treasures is here. Jabby. And hey. Jenny, another staple at Lava Lamp Live. Hey, Jenny, we'll be back on tonight, sweetheart. I know. I got up this morning and I went in. I was like, woo. Lava lamp. I have to talk to Jenny. <laughs> right. I know. I love it. 
Good morning, Joy. Good morning. Good morning. Listen to me. Good. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> the old man picks. Hello. Welcome Hello. in. Welcome. Janine. Hey, Janine. Hey. Janine, I love that picture of you. Hey, Craig. Hey, Craig. Hope you're feeling well, hon. Misha Renee. Hello, Misha, sweetheart. Misha. Thanks for coming in. Little buddy says, hi, everyone. Please go and support Courtney, you guys. She's awesome. She gives us so much information. She is a wealth of knowledge. I literally, like, I saw her post on YouTube before I left, and she said she was going to take, like, a month off of doing um, Bolo, the Bolo show. And I was like, oh. Like, I was like, I gasped because I just absolutely love it. You learn so much in that show. So if you're not subscribed to Courtney, please do. She's a wealth of knowledge. She'll be back. She'll be back in about a month. She wants to vamp up. She wants to spend more time on her eBay store and vamp up her eBay store. And then she'll be back again. YouTube takes a lot of time. A lot of time. Mr. Tasman, welcome in. Lucinda, hello. Asma. Whoop, 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 whoop. She knows what I'm talking about. Hi, Asma. <laughs> Yay, Asma. Moses. Hey, Thanks Richard. In. Nancy. Oh, she's crying. She's Nancy. Like, Nancy, no crying. Hey, Harley. And Pam. Missed you guys. So glad you're all here. Leon, did I say hi to you, sweetheart? Yes, we said hi and to Leon, but hi again. Hello, 710 Oil. Hello, haven't seen you in a minute. Thank you for coming in. And hey, Rim. Marilyn, hello. Thanks for being here. All right, you guys. Julie. Hey, Julie. Hello, Julie. Yes, so glad to be Betty Webb. Hello. Hey, Betty Webb. Betty Webb, Jonathan. haven't you been able to put a picture up yet? Hey, Jonathan. <laughs> Oops, Jonathan Alfaro, thank you so much. Hi, thank honey. you to everyone who gave us. Hi, Mvel. And I saw Shanna Banana. I think you jumped over Shanna Banana. Shanna, hello, <laughs> Shanna Banana. Um, and Carol Ann, hello, hey, Carol Ann. I was just saying to Jonathan, Jonathan, that was very nice of you. The super chat, all of you that gave us super chat. Thank you guys. Fire, that was scary. And it was especially scary. And thank God Pat D's went live. Like I was thinking about going live, but I was, I was, you know, when, like after I found the kids and then I found that he was live and I was like, okay, he's got it covered. But um, my main, my, the kids had gone downstairs to uh, do laundry yeah, because yeah, that's what Pat D's saw them on the elevator. Um, I have a little clip of meeting Pat D's, which I'm going to um, upload as a short too. Hey, Clayton Smith, wake up, welcome hey, in. Nice to see you, honey. Welcome in. Um, it's so funny because Pat D's wasn't going to come, and then he decided to come last minute, and he was. Uh, he talks about it in the video, and he was. So you guys can watch it as soon as I upload it. He was, uh, he knew we were on the 11th floor because I guess T told him, but we didn't think he was coming. So the girls were in the elevator. And for some reason, the girls think that when they're in the elevator, it's free for all to sing as loud as they want in the elevator. They're always singing. You guys know that. So they were singing at the top of their lungs and the elevator door opened and there was Pat D's and he had on a blue like windbreaker shirt and it had probably like a team emblem or something on it. And it looked like, it looked like security. And so I guess he said to the girls, are you the Bottolino girls? Cause he recognized them. And they were like, they thought it was security and they were in trouble. And he said, I'm Pat D's. And they were like, Pat D's. Cause they hear me. And every time Pat comes in the chat, Pat D's. So they knew who Pat D's was. So they brought him up to the room. But he could hear them coming down the elevator. Like he's like, those are the bot those are the bottle, you know, girls. Like he knew. <laughs> them. Adam, thanks for coming in. Hi, Adam. Adam. Jim G, welcome in. Welcome in. Good, Good to see you. Why? Bonnie. Hello and welcome. Jim, that's just a norm for us. No worries. You know what? The no, haters sure. will be haters. What, what is it? He's saying why the thumbs down already. Yeah. You know what? It's okay. It's you know, it's just there's just some people that just do that. I, I don't know. They just need to. 
it doesn't just it doesn't matter i mean it does affect me a little bit how many's on there don't worry about it just go on i'm just gonna it. go look i'm just gonna go look no you're not gonna go look you're just i'm gonna, gonna just go you're look i'm gonna go look stop you, there's no reason to is there a lot there's why no does, reason to. because why doesn't she want me to look because there's just no reason to give them any that's why i said shut them off there's no reason to give them any satisfaction just shut them off let's see i'm just gonna look <laughs> i just want to look i'm almost there i'm almost there i don't have it pulled up oh my god eight well, you know what? It'll probably go down to half. Well, you know what? It was six when you started looking, and because you talked about it, you got two more. Hi, Fancy Pinks. Welcome in. Hey, Nancy. <laughs> I know. Flip the haters, right? You can't please everyone. You're right, no. Stephen. You're right. It's I fine. I didn't mean to go down this rabbit hole. <laughs> it's okay, Jim. Jim, it's, it's all good, Jim. <laughs> it's fine. Ah, oh, Carol Ann, fresh girl. She says, I'm sorry, I felt the urge. <laughs> you better go fix it, Carol Ann. KJ. Right. Hey, KJ. <laughs> hey, there's our traveling gals. Yeah, it was awesome. It was so much fun. I am so ready to get on a plane now and go visit someone else. Your uh, Reading Terminal video makes me want to visit there this summer i'm only 15 minute train right away adam it was awesome Adam, you should have come and seen us 15 minutes away are you I kidding know, but he was, he's got compromised yeah he got right. compromised um when you get the food. shots yeah you when you're all thought about it yeah when you've, when you've got all your away. shots yeah i told him to stay away but the um yeah Thank it was rose the market was awesome to you i wish you were with us it was really awesome, the market. I know you had to leave and go home, but it was. I just didn't want to be in nighttime rush hour traffic. It was just, you know, and it still took me longer than it was originally supposed to. So, right. Wanda, we'll drop the link for you, hon. There, Shrika dropped it there. Register right where, just click on that little form and fill out that information. Don't be apprehensive about, like, we do ask your birth date. You don't have to give us the real year. Your phone number, we really prefer to text and to communicate that way rather than email. So that's why we ask. Oh, got my, got my, I get my second shot next Tuesday. All right, Adam. Awesome. Yeah. Um, Ch Chesy loves that Iron Maiden. It fits her so good. She wore it on the plane home. So, oh, in fact, good. I took a picture of her wearing it on the plane and you guys, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but you know, I took spirit airlines to save money um, instead of like Delta or one of those, the big common ones. And you know, people always talk about, Oh, spirit is awful. Blah, 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 blah. Spirit is not bad. I mean, it's, it's kind of tight. You know, the seats are small. Like if you're, if you're a big person and I'm, I'm pretty large, but I was comfortable in my seat, but if they do have the larger seats in the front of the plane, if you are a big person, you can't fly spirit period. Even if I saw you a seatbelt extender, which by the way, <laughs> I, I, I still have to invoice some people for those. And I just picked up some more, but um, hi, Eric. Social security, really? Why laugh out loud joking? I don't know. He must be talking to someone. But the seats are really, really small, and there's no leg room. And when they call it the airplane, like a, a, an Airbus, it is literally like sitting on a bus. But it was fine. I mean, there was some turbulence. I thought I was going to be scared after not flying for 15 years. I'm ready to jump on a jet and go somewhere else. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know that they want to come to New York so, so bad, but I really, really, I, I told, I told them, Angelina, I know she's starting college in the summer, but she should wait until she has a little bit of a break, maybe in the fall and do a long weekend or something because things just aren't, it's like Philly, like things are still not great in the city. Just not, it's not a good time mm -hmm. to come. She was so funny. You guys, like every tall building she saw, is that the Empire State Building <laughs> with the Statue of Liberty? I'm not in New York. I don't know where they came up with this New York thing, but they would not stop. They would not stop. It was very, very funny. Okay, 
So for those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Donna. Hello, hello. This I'm is T. T. This way. Whoops, sorry. This way. This is T. I'm in Palm Beach, Florida. She's in Long Island, New York. We bounce off each other. We go on six, sometimes seven days a week. The hours vary. So you really want to hit the bell icon. Um, I have children. So my schedule is really based around my children's schedule. Um, they I always have children too, but they're older. They're older. <laughs> um, my kids are still young. So. You just said it in a way like I have children. She doesn't. <laughs> no, you have children, but yours are older. Mine is still little. Like Chessie's huge, but she's still little. Oh, and and T got a T got a good dose of the way my kids are. Like she's heard me talk about how, like, um, they're so like. Um, they, they, they don't tolerate, they don't tolerate um, toxic gossip. Um, they find the good in everything. Like, I don't know what was, I was saying something. Hey, Beaver Unit, welcome in. I was saying something about one of the homeless people and they jumped to their defense like big time, didn't they? Yeah. They're unbelievable. They, they really like... They're like the parent. Elizabeth, hello, sweetheart. I see Hi, Elizabeth. Is seeing increases. PA is stable. New Jersey and New York are seeing increases in PA is stable. Is it? Thank you, Bonnie. They are awesome. They're such good kids. I don't know. I, I don't know where they came from. Hi, Christine Rose. For honestly, you guys. When you think about what these kids have been through and not to have like issues and anxiety and depression, like it shocks me. It just absolutely shocks me. I mean, to watch their brother die. I mean, they should be all messed up. I, I hope later on in life they're speaking of messed up. None of my high school friends watch me. So I'm comfortable saying this. Can you guys, I lost a very, very dear friend of mine. Um, I'm not going to say what she died of, but I think you guys know because her daughter hasn't put it out there to everybody of what she died of. Um, very unexpected death. And she was my very, very first friend that I, when I moved to the United States, her grandmother lived, we had, our house had a white picket fence around it. Yes, I grew up in a house with a white picket fence. <laughs> and her, her grandmother's house was the yard adjacent to ours. And I was a little immig immigrant girl, six years old, spoke no English. And she would go to her grandmother's house like almost every day after school. And we would we would play through the picket fence until the grandmother got to know us. And then, you know, she, she was allowed to come to my house or we were allowed to go to, I was allowed to go to her house. I've known her since I was six years old. She, um, we went to elementary school, junior high school. And then in high school, her parents put her in parochial school. She went to Catholic school. Um, and she suddenly died this weekend. Very, 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 very sad. Um, very unexpected. Um, so can I just take a moment of silence for her? Because um, thanks, you guys. Prayers go out to her beautiful daughter, Dory, who um, has to now pick up the pieces of, of life um, with this tragedy tragedy so thank you guys for the love um it hurt me to the core because um last time I talked to her was like four months ago and I always try to make time to talk to my old old friends and call them but it's four months have gone by and I knew she was struggling I knew she was struggling and um it just it I found out about it um during the volleyball tournament and I just it crushed me. It just crushed me. So I'm going to um my my high school graduating class has a Facebook page and we're all still very, very close. So I'm gonna try to organize not a fundraiser, but um her daughter's young. Um she has a, a son who's married and off. Um, but the daughter's left at home and she has this house now to deal with. I don't know how she, she's going to do it. No, no husband. 
So I'm going to try to, um, I don't want to do GoFundMe because they take such a huge amount of money. I'm going to see if I can get it with, the, with her daughter's permission. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for her to call me. It just, it just happened. So I'll see if I can um, post a link on my high school graduating class Facebook page and see if some of my classmates can, she was really loved, um, really, really loved. Maybe just try to help Dory out a little bit. It was, a, it's very tragic, very unexpected, unexpect, unexpected. Donna, wrench me here. T, why aren't you wrenched? I don't know. I can't seem to fix my Google for some reason. It's just not switching over to my regular channel. So just wrench me here. I, I can't figure it out. I don't know. Is that a different channel? It's Robbie's. I just changed it to me so you knew it was me. Okay. Bonnie says, T, no wrench. <laughs> I can't figure it out for some reason. I can't log out of, um, I got to put passwords in and I just don't have all that setting right okay, now. Okay, okay, so. okay. Um, hey, Maureen. All right, so with that being said, 111 in the chat. Maybe she's with Denali. Look at that. Um, I'm not wrenched either. Old Man Picks, is he registered, T? Old Man yes, Picks? Yes, I believe he is. I'll double check that, but I believe so, yes. And Maureen Burns, she sounds like she's um, wrenched. Maureen should be. I think Maureen is. You guys losing your wrenches? Make sure you're subscribed. I don't know why you lose wrenches. Old Man Picks, I just gave you... Um, you had a similar loss not too long ago. Yeah. Devastating. Absolutely devastating. Like, so unexpected. I mean, I knew she was struggling, but tapestry, um, Bo's tapestry is beautiful. Glad they found something. I bet the Thanksgiving dinner sandwich. Oh, my gosh. She let me have a bite. It was so good, Adam. Holy cow. It was delicious. Yeah, the old man picks is good. And... Um... And Chesley got a cheeseburger with macaroni and cheese in it. And I tasted the lobster macaroni and cheese. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. Hi, Craig. We said hi earlier. I don't know if you saw us. We did, Craig. Um, I don't have Maureen Burns. Oh, you don't? Okay. Okay, maybe she didn't register. It's okay. We we welcome viewers. You don't have to be registered. We welcome everybody in the chat, and we appreciate you all. I was astonished when Bo was at the flea market and picked up a fan and was going on about how beautiful it was. What teenager likes fancy, fancy fans? My teen, yeah, she's she's got unusual taste. That fan was fifty dollars. It was too much. Clayton's like I'm stealing the wrenches. <laughs> hey Joanne Young, welcome in, sweetheart. Hey Joanne. Oh, thank you, Leon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, it hurts me. Hurts me so much. Hi, Maria. Maria International. Stop in and say hi. I'm not gonna. I don't think you mean how. <laughs> <I'm at work. laughs> I may have to leave quick. Oh, maybe she did mean how if she's at work. <laughs> Dragon, I know, smoke. Dragon Smoke. I kept saying, he said he was going to come. He said he was going to be there. And we always drop our number in the chat. Make sure you guys have our numbers because I was waiting. I was thinking, he's going to text me. He's going to tell us he's coming. <laughs> oh, Bobby, did did Susan not see me say hello? I did. I said hello. And I said, Twice. I hope he's feeling better. It can be Maria. Maria says it can be hell. Uh, okay, honey, you want to go first or you want me to go first? No, you go. You didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. One day we'll get screws, nut wrenches. Okay, I want to test out my new camera. I have a little. Oh, KJ, on. you might be right. KJ says he may be wrong, but he thinks wrenches disappear if you leave thumbs down. Ah, <laughs> there you go. Boston, move, baby. Move, honey. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Go in the living room. Go ahead. Go in the living room. Okay. I have a dibble box and I'm going to test out my new camera. It's not exactly the way it's the way some of the other channels are doing it. It's not. Sorry. Exactly. Sorry. 
It's not exactly the way I want it, but let's see. It's a hat box, you guys. Let's see how it works. So this is a double block box. Let's start it off at 25. Hey, James. The first thing is going to be a pewter spoon. And it's Colonial Williamsburg, the Capitol building. Let me know if you like it this way, you guys. Okay, so that's going to go in there. And next is, so this is a dibble box, you guys. It's like going shopping at the thrift shop without going shopping. Okay, this is all tangled. So hold on, give me a minute. Sorry, this will take one second. Or I might just throw it in there. Okay, here is quick. Somebody make a bid on it before my son comes in here and sees this because he'll probably want them. <laughs> <laughs> this is an old fishing lure. Massimo, do you know anything about this? My son knows everything about fishing. Well, then he draws attention to it. <laughs> I know. It's an old, is, is it blurry? How's that? Is no, that it looks good. looks good. Okay, there's that fishing lure. No, it's not a plate. Um, it's it's a, it's actually a hat box. Yeah, it's a hat box. Is the uh, lure plastic or wood? Is the what? Oh, wood. It's wood. Okay. Oh, let me see. Say. Is this be careful? Well, I'm telling him to be careful. Is that wood or is that feels like wood, right? Mm -hmm. No, I think that's plastic. Is it plastic? Yeah, he can't tell. We're letting the expert look at it. Might be wood. It might be wood. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. To be wood. It looks old enough to be wood, but here's the name on it. Lucky 13. So he thinks it look it feels like wood. So sorry, I can't I can't give you a definite on that, folks. Here is a coin of I'm trying to get used to the camera. It's one penny from Finland. Here is Elizabeth the second. It's a shoehorn. And I'm not sure if it's brass. You guys will have to try to clean it up and see if it is brass. Where's the back of it? Um, next is a Christmas ornament. Let's see what it says on it. It's a brass Christmas ornament with the date on it, 1995, it looks like. And it looks like partridge in a pear tree. And here is a lighter. And on it, it says A-R-O. Let's get some dirt on it. Doesn't have a flint. Looks like a Zippo, but it says A-R-O. Next is this beaded egg ornament. Looks like it's in good condition. And here we have a really awesome belt buckle. Cool eagle. And it does say something on the back. Okay. And here we have a gold Babe Ruth, New York gold card. Don't know anything about it. Don't know if anybody knows what this is. But that's going in. And here is a sweet Mother's Day pen. Mother's love, like the love of Christ, is patience, kind and true. On your special, oops, this way, day, we praise God and pray, thanking him so much for you. 
And here is a stamp, Battle of Gettysburg. Gold plated charm. And this looks like just a little, a little speaker, something that you plug in. Here's an adorable little, I don't know, I guess that's like a cute little, cute little mouse maybe with a catcher's mitt. That's made in Japan. That's a little ceramic. I don't know if anybody knows. Hey, let me pull up my chat in case you guys know what I'm showing. You can, I'll tell you what that is, what it is later. I'll tell you what it is later. Please check on Penny Clark. Yes, I registered several weeks back. She's not in the um, chat. Um, <clears throat> so anybody have any idea what this is? What is this thing? Does anybody know? I have no idea. If anybody knows, let me know. It's a lighter. Oh, is it? Oh, it is. And it, oops, see it? Did you see the flame? There it is. <laughs> Striker so smart. Okay, next we have this poker. Is that a Texas poker size? It's brand new, unopened. Playing cards? And then there's this watch, still new in the package. Okay. Oh, let's just put that like that. <clears throat> And how about a whole bunch of old keys? Old keys can bring in some good money, folks. These are all just a baggie full of old keys. I know Sergeant Spork was looking for old keys. I don't know if he's here. And let's see what else I can put in here. Okay. How about we have it made in Virginia, which is an old pen. Probably, probably. Shady, I don't know. Anyways, you get a whole bag of them. How's that? So you list one and the rest, as they sell, you just sell them. So I don't know how many are in there, but it's a nice big bag full. I just registered. When you get a moment, please see if it was received. Yes, Christine, okay. Christine, I think we had your registration already. Christine is good. And so is Wanda. Penny, I don't see you as yet. Sometimes it does take a minute or two. Okay, thank you, Christine. Wanda, make a comment, honey. Donna will wrench you. And we'll give it another minute, Penny. Sometimes it does take a minute to update. Okay. 
Next we have this. It's a pocket watch. Flippin' sports guy. Yes, thank you. I did enjoy it. So this is this is pretty awesome. I think anybody who's a truck driver would love to buy that or a gift for a truck driver. That's beautiful. It doesn't have a name on it, but but there's a truck on there? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, truck or tea. Truck or tea. And here's a really awesome another one. Has a wolf on it. That's really cool. Gray wolf. Um, I'm going to put in this vintage pair of eyewear. You guys, some vintage eyewear sells for really good money. So that's going to go in there. Ah, look at this. You know what that is. That's a wait for a cuckoo clock. Yeah. Someone's looking for this, you guys. Someone is definitely someone, looking for that. Someone is looking for this. This is one of those things that people turn to eBay to buy. Someone is definitely looking for this. It's got some weight to it, too. It's got some serious weight. All right. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. My box. Huh? Brian, I, I, Brian was supposed to carry up a box for me, and he just left, and he didn't do it. I'll be right back. Uh, hey, Harry. Welcome in. Okay. Does anybody know what this is? Anybody? Anybody? No. Ding, 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 ding. Marilyn got it. They're gum locks. And you get one, two, three. Yep, that's right, J.I. Four. Five. And six, six gum locks on that. And then I'm going to throw in I don't know if these are I'll have to look and I think my I think my my loop is still is still packed, but there's this spoon. Let's see if we can see what it says. My loop is still packed. Oh, here. Here's another loop. Hold on. I'll tell you if this is. This says. Sorry, you guys. I don't look at anything before I sell it. Um. You know what? It says something on it. It says something on it, but I can't see it. I can't make it out. It's really worn out. So if it's silver, good on you. But there it is. It's a silver. It's a spoon. Could be silver. And the fork, let me see if I can make it out on the fork. It's so worn out, you guys. 
You're going to have to test it. It's so wicked worn out. Here we go. This one I think I can read. This one says Rogers Brothers IS. And then it has Reflections is the company. And it's E, I don't know, EAF it looks like. I'm not sure. But it's marked for sure. I don't know if it's silver. A um, couple of more things. A couple of more things in this dibble lot. How about this? It's uh, Seasons Greetings, 1997. Looks like a some sort of Christmas ornament. 1994. Sorry. Patties. <laughs> Patties. And how about Lake City, Colorado? It's a fishy. That's a fish. And here's looks like a Indian totem pole. Carved of red cedar logs. Canada. It's Canada. All right. A couple of more things, and that will be the end of the double. Here's a limited keychain. Hey, Boatman, Boatman. Hey, Boatman. Here is a plastic Hawaiian, someone's looking for this. They went to Hawaii and bought one and then they lost their keys. It was the best trip ever and they want it back. This this, this is really pretty. This this lady looks like she's pewter. That looks like a pewter keychain. It feels like pewter. It says something on it. I'm not sure what it says. But it says something on it. Let's see if I can read it for you. It says Fort. Fort is the name of it. She's beautiful. Okay, that's going in there. And this happy anniversary is going in there. Hey, Summers. What's up, Carol? Good to see you. Hey, Summers. And I don't know what this is. Branson. I don't know if it's some sort of guitar brand, perhaps. Is it a place? I don't know. And here's another keychain, Oklahoma. And here are some, here's a coin. What is this coin of? It's sealed in plastic. It says Sunoco on it. No idea. Anybody know what this is? Let me know in the chat if you know what this is. It looks like there's a book. I, I have some of those that like with the baseball stuff that you put all the coins in a like a thing. That's possibly might be one of them. That's going in there. There's two. A Chuck E. Cheese coin? I don't think so. It's just the Noco on it. I don't think they would give kids a Chuck E. Cheese. And one more pocket watch. With a train on it. And that's it, folks. That's the whole dibble box. A little dibble this, a little dibble of this, and a little dibble of that. <clears throat> We've got one, two, three, four, five, six gum locks. 
We got pocket watches. We have a high bid of 55. Anybody else? Pam is out. All right, Pam, thank you. Looks like we're going to call it to Craig. All right. Maria Maria is out. Yeah, I'm going to throw in these glasses as well. Here's another pair of vintage eyeglasses in the vintage case. My case is really pretty. And so you get three pairs of vintage eyewear. And there's another pair. Hi, Sandy. Hi, okay. Sandy. If anybody else wants to come in. If not, we're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. High bid is 55. Going twice. It's a big tangled mess. Oh, they like that. I know. Get some nice stuff in here, you guys. Nice double box. All right. We're going to be sold, 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 sold. To shrink the white sold yet? Okay, T, I'm going to clean this up. Are you ready to show something? Or should I go grab something? I can right. show something quick. I can I can grab something if you're not ready, honey. I have a plush lot right I mean, here. I always have stuff around me I can grab, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Okay, let me, let me show this plush lot while T finishes up. Okay, a nice big plush lot. So here is the first item in the plush lot. This is made by a company called Cuckoo Kennels, and it's one of those sleep pillows. Um, it's really cute. There's um, pillow pets were the originals, so I don't know if. So this is a $25 start on these, you guys. So here is a cute little bunny. Um, there's no name on it, but it's still really cute. You'll have to look it up. This one, so... You know how I would say someone's looking for that. This one, Alex lost it. He lost it and it got donated. And then it got thrown in a big bin and sold in a pallet. So Alex is looking for this. That's Alex's teddy bear. Um, next is this. Um, MGS Group LTD. It's a dinosaur. It's a little dinosaur. It's just a cute little dinosaur. And next is this electronic. I don't know. Probably needs batteries. Doesn't turn on. But it probably sings. It's a little fox. So it probably sings some sort of little Christmas tune. Not sure. Um, here is a baby gun with a tag. Bless you. Thank you. This if is Penny is still in the chat, I did not receive that um, registration, Penny. So if you want to try to fill out a form again, it usually takes a few minutes, but it doesn't take this long. So I'm not sure that you may have um, hit the submit button. Double check. That's a cute little um, gun lamb, new with tags. Thank you, Frank. 
This to me looks like it could be a um, Boyd's bear. Let me see if I'm right. Thank you, Sandy. It is. It's a Boyd's bear. This is an adorable little Boyd's bear. It's all jointed. Little girl. Thank you, Janine. Thank you, Summers. Chessie has a cold, you know. Does she? Yep. This is a folk monus puppet. Folk monus, you guys. <laughs> Ruth Bond. Hold the press. Hold the presses. Did I just see a two-headed doll behind Donna? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a folk monist puppet. If anybody knows folk monist, you know they have a great following and they sell really well. So that's a folk monist. This one is a it's a mama bear, a, a mama monkey holding a baby monkey. And the name on this one, oops, I just disconnected them. Hold on, let me reconnect them. Um, I know I saw a tag. Oh, it's Wild Republic. This is a Wild Republic. It's a mama holding on to a baby. Monkeys sell really well. Pam, you would start this off at 25. Here's another really cute dandy little monkey. And this is a Kelly toy penguin. It looks like nothing, but you'd be surprised. You really would be surprised. Who's looking for that? Here's a golden snake with a rattler on it, and it's made by Aurora. And it has a rattler on the end, which is kind of cool. Um, in this lot, you also have a Mickey, cute little Mickey Mouse. And Thanks, Penny. Appreciate it. Sorry, I'm not sure what happened there, honey. Here's a a uh, dinosaur. It's a Coles Care dinosaur. I know Coles Care came out with like different stuffed animals, different times. Um, here is a Adventures Planet Shark Raw. There's a shark. And here is an adorable little baby boy. And this one is uh, the petting zoo. Super soft, super clean adorable put baby boy in the title that will sell here's shamu from sea world with the sea world tag on it's got a leather tag on it oh it's shamu that's in the lot here is a wild republic gray elephant Adorable. And this one is called SKM. It's just a little bear with a pink sweater. Someone's looking for that as well. These are the um, uh, baby Einstein toys that mothers hang on their carriages or in cribs and stuff. Baby Einstein has got a, a good following as well. It was really popular years ago. Wild Republic, baby Einstein came out like 20 years ago and I'm sure that um, this one only because his name is on his collar is Pluto. Haha, -ha, there you go, T. I guess who it was. <laughs> I still would have said Goofy if his name wasn't there. Um, this one is a Surprisimals. I don't know. It's just a little tiny surprise -imal. Don't know anything about that company. Here is a tiny little, looks like a, it's a T.Y. Boo. And it, it's a fish. Sparkly eye boo. And here's a little T.Y. Spaniel. And lastly, this is, looks like Ooh Ah Crochet made it. But she didn't. It's a lamb, and it's all hand crocheted. They did a nice job, right? It's really cute. Little lamb. Okay, so that's the whole lot. You get one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, um, 21, 22 on the folk monus, 23, 24, the Boyd's Bear and the Elephant. The big lot. I probably could have sold it in two. 25, 26. Or was I at 25? I don't know. And I'll throw this in. This is the one that came from the bins, the Padres. That will go in there as well, just because it was sitting here. Okay, that's it. That's the whole lot. Hey, Wes, welcome in. All right, we've got Pam Hewitt at the high bid of 25. Anybody else? We're going to call it to Pam. Where's my cards? Oh, I think I put them over here. Hi, Virginia. Hi, Melissa. Thanks for coming in. Pam is at 35. Um, T. Craig Wolf won the Dibble lot for 55? Yes. Okay, thanks. All right, we've got Sky at 37. Thank you, Sky. Pam is at 40. Thank you. Thank you, Pam. Sky is out. Thank you, Sky. I think Pam is the only one left. So we're going to go once. We're going to go twice. I'll do that one next. Hi, Sky. $40 to Pam. All right, Pam. Good deal, honey. All right, I have one more plush lot sitting right here, so I might as well do it, and then I'll go put it out there while T's showing. And you guys, I do have some comic books tonight. And some records. So for those of you that are rolling your eyes at stuffed animals... Brilliant spaces in the chat. Hey, Mama. Welcome in, sweetheart. You're welcome, Pam. Thank you, honey. Okay. All right. This is going to be my next one. My next one. That's a big bundle. That might have to go out in two bundles. We'll see. Okay. This one's a little bit smaller, but it has... Messy hair, I don't care. It has this, um, it's an Xavier Roberts. Boys, close your eyes. And she does have a diaper on her and um, the little panties. So I know that some of these Cabbage Patch dolls can be bolos. I just don't know which ones. This one is marked 2004. She's a 2004, so. Gosh, she's like, oh, she's old. She's like 18 years old. She's in excellent condition. Look at what condition she's in. 
Uh oh, she just fell out. Okay, there's that one. There's this bear company and it's a wolf. And oh, let's look and see if there's any jewelry inside of it. <laughs> Someone found some jewelry inside. You guys, make sure you check your plush and your 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 pouches that I sell you because I don't always check. People find things in purses and in plush. Um, this is adorable. This is a um, uh, it's a ty. It's a tie. It's all, um, it's cute. I don't know. What is it? Is it, a, is it a cat? It looks like a cat. All tie dyed. It's adorable. Okay, that's in there. This one is Teddy Precious. You're an angel. Um, the manufacturer is... I can't read it without my glasses, but it says you're an angel. It's all gold. It says Teddy Precious. It's really cute, very unique. I definitely would put like angel bear or something, something sweet along that line in the title. That's really cute. And this is a old Build-A-Bear. This is like one of the vintage ones. No clothes, just one of the originals. You can see it's original, by the way. It's nothing fancy about it. All of the new ones are kind of fancy. So someone might be looking for that. Here's another cute little Thai puppy dog. That's cute. And here is a adorable Dalmatian and it's a QSP is the name on it. And must be a girl. She's got eyelashes. Cute little Dalmatian. And this is, looks like a cow and it's a Webkins cow. So that's one and two and three and four and five and six, seven. And I want to add to it eight. Hold on, let me add a couple of pieces to it. Boston, you're gonna move, baby. Go, keep moving, keep moving. I'm gonna add this to it. This is a Oh, it's a for real. This is a for real. This is a for real parrot. And hello. 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 I don't know how to make him work. He probably needs batteries, but it's for real, you guys. And anybody knows for real sells really well. So yeah, you're gonna get this. Okay, T, you're back, I see you. What happened? I'm just having so much problems with my Google account. I can't get it back into my right account and I went and clicked something and just knocked myself out. I'm not gonna worry about it now, but I'm having a problem now accessing the thing to see if anybody's registered. It just not, I don't know. My I can go, I can go to it. I have, right. it, I have it pulled up. Who am I looking for? Uh, I don't know if we're looking for anybody right at this very moment. 
I mean, I knew that um, we had Penny before who was trying to register. I don't know if it's me that's having the issue. I don't know. All right, but but Penny, have, if you've registered, just let us know, hon. I have it pulled up. All right, you can put yourself back on full screen. Oh. <laughs> Amy, I didn't see you in here. Thanks, Shay. Pam Hewitt is at 40. Oh, look for Penny Clark. Okay, let me look for Penny Clark while you guys finish up the bidding on this. Dragon Smoke, we can't make that promise. I mean, Donna could get it out, but I don't know if you'll get it for Easter. You never know with the post office. What's that? He's asking for Easter delivery. I will, if you need it for Easter, I promise you, promise you, I'll put it on priority to send it out tomorrow. Some people are getting packages the next day in New York City last week. I think it was like Moses got a package in one day. Yeah, that's what she, he just wrote in there. Okay, thank you, Penny. We'll check on it again, honey. I'm checking right now, Penny. What's Penny last name? Clark. Clark? Yes. I got it. Okay, good. And everything is filled out properly. Thank you, Penny. Thank you so much. On top of the battery, there's a little like piece of plastic. Okay. If you pop that off, Are we done with this? Cam, Dragon Smoke is at 42. I have something that's Eastery here that I'll show in a minute. If you guys, if you guys buy it, I'll make sure that it goes out tomorrow. It's really cute. 42 to dragon. Josh Noons, we miss you too. Hey, Josh. Hi, honey. I love this, you guys. This is adorable. This is very precious. This is a beautiful bear. I would even write something like condolences or sympathy. Like someone who had like this, this would be an awesome gift to give a mom that had like a stillbirth or lost a baby, you know, you're an angel. Like that's what I, that's what I see when I look at this bear. White bear is not part of this lot. Which white bear? What's Stryker saying? I don't know. This bear is part of the lot. Traker, what do you mean? This is part of the lot. Everything that was in this bag is part of the lot. Okay, we've got Dragon Smoke at 47. That's an awesome parrot right there. I'd like to get it to go. So, oh, that's okay. So I can do a short with it, but I won't have time. That's all I need to hear. Yes, I'll send it out tomorrow. Promise, right away. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. We're still on the same lot. Shriker calling me out, telling me I'm slow. <laughs> I was like, oh, I thought we were on this. We're still on the same. Yeah, in other words, he's saying, we're still on the same lot, Donna. <laughs> Oh, you know what I have? I have, um, gee, what was the thing that I told you I, I got today? Um, I went and picked up um, Civil Air Force. Yes. I have a whole bunch of Civil Air Force stuff, like really cool stuff. Shriker says, no way, Donna, not me. Thank you, Shriker. Fair warning. Dragon Smoke is going to get it for 47 Sold, 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 sold. Two dragon smoke for 47. Are you done looking Congratulations. out? Congratulations. Are you done looking out the window? Who are you looking at? Your nosy neighbor? <laughs> at somebody with, with the car. I don't know. <laughs> you're such a nosy neighbor. Yeah, you're, out nosy this, neighbor. you're out there. Uh, 
Everyone knows the neighbor. neighbors. All right. I hope we have some sports fans in the house tonight. Lots you, of nice, cool stuff. Your lighting, your lighting is kind of dark, but I know it's that time of day in your it's room. It's just the time of day. I know. I know. All right. This is a Cal Ripken Jr. lot. First thing is this plaque. It's uh, from the score, scoreboard ink. And it is Cal Ripken's Baseball Ironman 2131, September 6, 1995. All-time consecutive game leader with the photo. It's, you know, boarded. I, I won't say the plaque. Whoopsie. I won't say the plaque is perfect. It's really not perfect now. <laughs> All right. Well, the plaque will be the plaque will be fixed before I send it. I guess there was not a lot of screws in that. Whoopsie. I don't know why that came out. All right. Then we have this oversize Cal Ripken Jr. 1994, I believe. Let's see. Or 95, it probably is. And we have some cards. T, you changed your ad sign. I, I did again. I'm sorry. I got in with this now. And I still can't get into my right Google account, though. I was able to change. Maybe I am with the, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. What's the problem, T? My, um, hey, Jeff. Um, my, my, now I'm in with auctions for you. I don't know. I, I still can't fix everything a hundred percent. So for some reason now this one is saying I'm in. Oh yes. I was talking, well, I was talking in general, but I know you just asked for, what did you ask for any military or police stuff? So when you say, yeah, civil war, that's what I have. I don't, know if I have any military and police stuff. Hey, Jules. Hey, Jules. Thank you guys for coming in tonight. So on the cards, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, of these and the larger one is 10 on this again all cal ripkin and then this plaque which i'll figure out what happened or what went awry with the plaque <laughs> maybe it just wasn't fastened i mean unfortunately it's fastened through the photo but there's the photo and the photo is stamped 1995 photo file yonkers new york the major league club something or other. I mean, it does have photo stampings on it. So that is the picture that should mount on the plaque. And I think I saw vintage treasures in at 25. Thank you, Paul. Oh, Stephen, Paul beat you in there just by a little bit of a, a second on that have some wrestling stuff tonight too and um definitely have some sports ephemera tonight of I think I have something signed by Mickey as well. Well, there'll be a few signed things.
All right, Larry's going to come in for 27. Thank you. Beavers in at 35. Again, the Cal Ripken plaque. And then the cards. In the larger card. All right. Vintages in for forty seven. And you guys will get a book with this as well. I just down to the Ichiro books or the minor league books. Uh, but you'll get two copies, either the two thousand and seven and two thousand and eight, I think. We got the teams now. They're triple A, double A, they're minor league teams. Or I have some little uh, individual ones too. If you just tell me it's a mystery, I'll throw in an assortment. Unless you want to be particular and pick the Ichiro book. Will you make me an Easter basket? Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, Babette. Thanks for coming in. Um, if you'd like to register, there's no charge to register. We'll go ahead and drop the link. You just fill out the form and you're registered to bid always. We'll give you a wrench and that means you are registered. No pressure. No cost to, to bid or register. Just a cost to pay if you win. <laughs> All right, anyone else? And we're going to call it. We're going to call it to Beaver for 50. Thanks, Shay. Thank you, honey. All right. Congratulations. Awesome, awesome. All right. Let's see if you guys are interested in this lot of it's a few pieces of wrestling. It's not... A ton, a ton, a ton, but there are a few pieces and a book I'm going to include. There's a, a large um, World Wrestling Entertainment unscripted book. This book is from it's really beautifully illustrated too. Two thousand and three, and I'll just show you a few pages in here. Hey, Aunt. So, just so you guys can see, the book is in a really nice condition, very well illustrated, nice color pictures, all about wrestling. In here, has an original forty-five dollar price tag on it from Barnes and Noble. <laughs> just FYI, so you get that. Then you've got Nikita Koloff. Oh, look, Anthony, this was just made for you. Anthony, thanks for the support. May the Lord be bless you. <laughs> Sign dedication on that. Then you've got this one.
And then we got this WF Fan Festival. You guys will have to do the research on um, who they are. Oh, actually, there's some on the back, too. Um, Bob Holly and the Fink on the back. <laughs> right, Anthony, it's funny. So you'll have to see who those are. And this one is, oh, this might be, the, that might be the cover to this. This looks like this might have been torn off. That might there yeah, that that probably that's what this is. This is probably the cover. So it's really a hole. And this is the Royal Rumble this Sunday, what looks to be January 27th, live and only on pay-per-view. There's actually two of these. This one's got a damaged corner on it. Actually, they both have the same exact corner. So weird. There's two of those. Thank you, Babette. We'll get you wrenched up in a minute as soon as Donna comes back. This is WF Magazine. Bart Simpson on the cover. May 1997. The cover's not 100%. It's got a little bit of hairs to it you guys will have to look through it i'm not sure if there's any anything going on in there then you've got this dedicated to the memory of brian pillman and it just looks like uh, a magazine with him and this is actually the cover, I guess. The cover is detached from this. And that's, that, I guess, is the back. So, And then the last piece is the new pictorial history of wrestling. This one, the dust jacket is soiled a bit as well as the corner of the book. So you guys know, I'll show it to you in a second. Let me give you a year on this. First printing 1990 on that. It is uh, black and white illustrated. Oh no, there are, is some color as well. Oh, there is some color as well in here. But the corner here, I just wanna show it to you guys so you guys can see it. See the edging? Yeah, there. Somebody, somebody had it with their cup of coffee, it looks like. Definitely somebody had that with their cup of coffee. So you got that, you got the Brian Pillman, the May 97, the two Royal Rumbles, the WF Fan Festival with all the signatures, the Nikolai Vol Volkov, am I saying that right? Nikolai Vol Volkov, it's funny because this is Nikita Koloff, I guess that's uh something to do in the wrestling worlds with all offs. <laughs> and then the other book, the world's wrestling entertainment unscripted. So that's what you got. Tried to put as much wrestling stuff together that I could. All right. We got Josh in at 27. Anyone else will call it. Let's call it to Josh. Virginia, of course, we didn't miss a beat. We even had an auction while we were away. Hi, Babette. <laughs> Is Babette wrenched? Is yeah, Babette uh, I didn't check. She said she registered. Okay, Babette, I'm going to go look right now, honey. She did say she um, she registered. I'm pretty sure she's wrenched on your channel, isn't she? Oh, is she? I think so. Uh, well, then we didn't need you to register again, Babette. We would have just confirmed we had your registration. I'm sorry. B Babette Perkins. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. Babette Britain. Britain. 
Nope, Babette, I don't have you. I have a YouTuber by the name of Babette Perkins that's registered. That's her YouTube name. Did you change your name? Or come in under a different device with a different last name? Hey, Kelly. Hello, sweetheart. Hey, Kelly. Chaz. Larry. Is auction on hold? T, why? why um, I was looking. Yes, Babette is in. I have Babette. I have it. I, I was trying to figure this out. I'm sorry. What's it under? I don't see it. I only see Babette. Perkins. I have it on the main form. You don't get to see the main form. Uh, I'm, the creator. Okay. I'm sorry, Babette. But it's there. I'm sorry, Larry. I'm sorry, Larry. <laughs> Larry, I'm sorry. Um, it was the wrestling. Are we done? No, we're not on hold. We have the two wrestling books. <laughs> sorry, Larry, honey. <laughs> sorry, Larry, darling. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Kelly. You liked the hotel auction with the fire alarm. It was oh, a, yeah, that was awesome. It was, a, it was a fire sale. It was a fire sale, exactly. <laughs> All right, we're going to call it to Josh. <laughs> And the big one. And the big one. You have Virginia. Why? Why, why, why? I've been sleepy all day, too. I'm still catching up, I think, from the weekend. I'm still catching up from the weekend, but it's all good. It's all good. All right, we're going to call that one to Josh. 3.30... Call that wrestling. Congrats, Josh. All right. Let's see if you guys won. I said we get a lot of sports today, so I've, and I've got a lot around me. So let's just let's just do it. Let's just do it. Um, this is going to be a real big sports dibble. I'm just going to grab because I got a lot of sports things around me. So we'll just make it like a sports dibble. Name is French. Uh, name is French. I'm Scottish. Laugh out loud. No problem. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, we're going to put all of this. You know what? We're just going to put all of this in here. I just have a lot of stuff. I'm just going to toss it all in here. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, it is. Whatever it is, it is. So there's a couple of these big cardboard um, signs. Um, actually, you know what? This one I'm going to put in with the... That's going to be a surprise for whoever won the Cal Ripken because I didn't realize I had something else that was Cal Ripken. So there'll be another piece coming with the Cal Ripken. It'll be a little bonus. Instead of a book, you'll get that. Believe me, it'll be worth it more than the book. All right, let's see how many of these I have. I have one, two, three, and I think, let's see, what's this? I'm not sure what the story is with this. Joe DiMaggio and Ted Williams, probably just a reprint. I don't see any COA or anything going on with here. Just a nice black and white signed photo. Then you've got this number six, the Iron Horse, Lou Gehrig. It's boarded. It's got a certificate on the back of it. And you have this one, number seven, the perfect game. This one is 
Number 12, Chairman of the Board, Whitey Ford. And these are all on a board. All right, then we have this. The, this one, it's funny. Let me see. I have this one, too. I guess they are. I guess they're like cards or something. Stickers, maybe. This one has a little damage on the corner here with this. But this is a bunch of stickers. And then this one here is also stickers. For some reason, they mounted them on this piece of paper, which is not even doing anything. I may take them off of this piece of paper because it's just the back of this paper. I feel like I would put cardboard or something under here. But what, for whatever reason, there is one photo sticker missing here on this. So I don't know if this went to some kind of series or something. Who knows? All right. This is uh, five reusable decals on here. It's Yankees. It is 1992 on that. This is the 2003 New York Yankee team calendar. This is commemorative Super Bowl milk caps. And they are, looks like it goes up to Super Bowl 10, 20. Uh, I don't, yeah, I guess Super Bowl 29 was 1995. Is that possible? Yeah, I guess so. Um, and that's what they are, Super Bowl caps. This is a 1992 Jets poster from Gatorade with the schedule and there is it was never it was never hung looks to be in pretty pretty decent condition from 1992 this is Sean Kemp uh, this is a signed and numbered Sonics supersonics But I don't have any COA or anything like that on that. It does come in this in this folder. And then there's this. I don't have a COA on this either. This is Don Mattingly and Mickey Mantle. I don't know what the story is with this. I have no idea if it's a reprint. It's hard to say a copy, but you, you, you take a chance with that. I don't know. As Mattingly signed it too. So that's in there. Then nobody beats the whiz. If you guys remember, they were um, like an electronic store. Looks like these are still sealed in the package. And there's two Yankees award-winning card series by Fuji. And again, there are two packages still in there. Nobody Beats the Wiz award winner car sets. This is the official New York City tour guide. But it looks like it's around stadiums and sports. Oh, it's actually around the Knicks. It's 100% all about the Knicks. I'm not sure what this is. This just looks like a photo reprint or something. Old-time greats, New York Yankees. It's, it's Then there's a couple of guides. Here's a Cardinals 1977 media guide, a 1992 media guide, a Let's Go Meal... Let's go meals. No, I don't think you guys want that. Something with a cookbook. I'll put that in. I'll put that in a different lot. I didn't realize what that was. 
Here is Tinkerfield, Orlando, Florida, the city beautiful, one of Florida's most beautiful baseball parks for spring training. Let's see what this is. This is, it looks like just an article on sports, the Giants and things like that, just to cut out. I think there's a poster here. Let's see what this is. Make sure it's sports. Yeah, it's Jets again. So there are gangrene, New York Jets. And it looks like you've got two of them. Three of them. So there three of those. And again, I will just leave it like that. I don't want to play with it too much. Then we have this. I don't know. These are just New York All-Star Basketball Classics, Madison Square Garden. One is blank. Looks like for the same game. And then it looks like somebody wrote scores or something on that particular one. This is a Memoirs and Dreams magazine. This is Minor League Digest 1987. Scorebook 49th edition. Looks like some BBWAA 87th dinner, Hilton, New York, 2010. And this one is the 1974 official program and scorecard of the New York Mets. Hoops and scoops, hoop scoops or something like that. This is team and comp conference predictions uh, for Larry UNLV. And this one is volume seven, number four. It's just hoops, all hoopies. This is a 19... I'm not sure. I thought there was a date on here. I thought I saw a date on here. It's a collector's edition Mickey Mantle authorized pictorial tribute. But I'll give you the date on it as it's open. It's not 100% sealed. It's in nice condition, though. There's a little tear, very tiny, tiny imperfection right there, I see. Um, oh, they even have a picture of uh, Mantle's um, wake funeral. But, yeah, it's all Mantle. And this one, picture of the 61 champion team. Let's see if I can give you a date on this one. I don't know why it doesn't want to give us a date. Nineteen ninety-five on that. And of course. Always anything, if it comes in plastic, I try to keep it in plastic. And let's see, we've got a Gil Hodges Legacy Dinner, November 18, 2010. It looks like we have a Dwight Gooden signature on this. It's a photograph, and I do not have, obviously, a, a certificate. It's got Ron Swoboda on the bottom, Ralph Terry. Um, so that's that, but it is a photograph. And again, if it's in plastic, I'll leave it in plastic. This is Baseball Highlights in History, 1791 to 2007. It looks like it's just a stapled um, history of the game typed out. So it goes to 2007. How's it going, is, okay. It's going, honey. Good. I, I just had to break up a fight in the kitchen. Oh, no. What happened? What? None of food. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> um... I have no idea, but it, there's just a uh, there's a newspaper clipping. I'll throw it in there with that. 
Okay, this is a Chicago Bulls 1998 Champions final something upper deck collectible. Can I just say hello and welcome to Kim Murphy? Sure, hi Kim Murphy. See, I'm new, heard about you from the Nurse Flipper channel. Thank you, Kim. Thanks for coming welcome. in. Appreciate you. Welcome. There's no cost to uh, register here, Kim, if you want to. Uh, Shriker20 put the uh, link in there. You can just fill out the form for us. I am not sure. I don't know why this is like such a box. See how that is a box? I don't know if there's more than one card inside or what. I'm not, I don't want to fool with it, but that's, that's what that is here. All right. And let's see. What else? Oh, we have this. Um, this is a baseball first day issue, Legends of Baseball, July 6, 2000. It's got Ty Cobb on it. I'll throw that in there. Kyle and Elliott. He says you made good time back from New York City. <laughs> I'm sure he's talking to me because, yeah. Like, what does he know how long it took me? <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, T. Hi, honey. Miss you. Miss you guys, too. Uh huh. <laughs> National Hockey League 1971-72 schedule and 70-71 final statistics. This is a the Nays Smith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Thank you, Texas Grammy, and welcome in. I'll go look right now. Thank you, Texas Granny. The official guide of the St. Louis Blues, 1978-79. And I think we're coming to an end here. Let's see what this is. This is Fordham University. It's just a program, which sounds like it was stuck together for whatever reason. And it looks like somebody started keeping score on it, just a scorecard they hand out at the um, – NBA news. It's a bunch of paper now. This is just the sports section from Thursday, June 29th, 1995. Washington Nationals bios of those players. Sports Information Directors, 1971-72 for College of America. Here is an Al Jackson of the Mets. His thing, a get well prayer. This is a card. Oh, Bill. Bill Steimers again. He was sick. This actually came from, signed from his friends at WFAN. That's our local sports channel here in New York. Uh, oh, here's something else. Bill Steimers. Dear Bill, many thanks for remembering my birthday. Lindsay, no, I'm not sure who that is. You guys can do some research, but if anything, you've got a stamp and a postcard there. And then the last piece is this is the Cincinnati Reds 1990 postseason media guide. So that is the lot, which is a lot. Texan Grammy. I don't see it. I refreshed it twice. I'll look it again. It does take a few minutes to update. It will take a few minutes to update. I can look too. Sometimes it hits my form before it actually goes to the spreadsheet. Now I got that up. I can look. I do have a new registration. Let's see who that might be. Oh, Wanda filled it out again. Oh, it's a different one. All right. Texas Granny is good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, it doesn't even show up on my phone. Yeah. No, 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 Jules, I flew. I flew out of West Palm. Um, I flew out of Fort Lauderdale. Hi, Anthony. All right, so this is the size of the lot. And as a matter of fact, I didn't even realize this was sitting on my desk. Robert Williams wants you to recap, please. Sure. All right. So I just found this on my desk. I'll put this in. It does have some major chipping going on here, but this is a January. This is pretty old, this sport one. January. Nineteen fifty-nine on that one. 
1959. So that's that. I'll throw that in there as well. All right. And it's just tons of sports ephemera. Go ahead and show another lot. I'm gonna. I'm trying to get some stuff together here. All right. Are you okay with that? Do you have something yeah. real handy? Yeah, I'll okay. Grab, I'll grab something. Yep, I'll grab something. Okay. And then three of the jet posters. Um, there's three of them here. Postcard. Cardinals, 1979, Blue Jays, 82, the two sealed Yankees award-winning card series from Nobody Beats the Wiz and Fuji, the Mickey Mantle and Don Mattingly photo. Sean Kemp. Supersonics, the 1992 Gatorade Jets poster, the commemorative Super Bowl milk caps, the New York Yankees 19, uh, 2003 sealed calendar, Five reusable sealed decals. These two sheets of stickers. And again, the, the one, this one for some reason is missing one photo out of there. Babette, no, it's free shipping for all orders over $30 or combined in um, our six, we have six auctions a week. So you can combine as long as you hit $30, we will combine the shipping for free shipping. Pride of the Yankees, number 12, Whitey Ford, The Perfect Game, Yogi, The Iron Horse, Lou Gehrig. These, again, are all sealed in plastic and on cardboard. Ted Williams and Joe DiMaggio. Again, it's on cardboard. <clears throat> the Upper Deck Chicago Bulls. And that's it. That's your recap. Oh, and you know what? I have this here, too. This is a... 2009 Atlantic 10 softball champion. It's a media pass. I'll throw that in as well. Again, I don't know if there's any need for that, but we'll, we'll put that in there too. And I am going to have some cards tonight. And um, I do have some other ephemera. I have some records. I'm going to do some 45s and some LPs as well. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? Is that Mickey sign? It is Robert, but um, I don't have a COA for it. We'll go back to it. Um, it is signs. Like I, I wouldn't doubt it's it's his signature. I have no doubt um, that it is, but I don't have a certificate of authenticity, so you would have to get that um, taken care of. And Don Mattingly is also signed on there as well. Um, but I really don't know if it's a reproduction. I know nothing about it. I just pulled all of this stuff out today from a box that I had. 
So it's on cardboard. And it's stapled closed, so we don't want to fool with it. <laughs> I don't want to fool with it. I mean, the plastic, I don't even know why it's in this plastic. The plastic has, like, some scuffing and stuff on it. Like, this mark here is on the plastic. It's not on Mickey. It's like somebody had the number five on there, but I don't know. And then I um, will include a um, Ichiro book if you guys want, or I will pick. I have a couple of programs and stuff from the minor leagues, um, the Brooklyn Hurricanes, and a few others I can toss in there as well. Just tell me um, if you want the Ichiro book or the minor league stuff, and I'll throw a couple of the minor league books in there. from Anthony oh let's throw this in um this is a little this is a little it's been in this envelope but it looks like it just like it got sat I don't know sat on is the right word but it definitely got a little um warped or something because if you can see it it looks like it is but it is opening in 2010 uh the new Meadowlands stadium it looks like he ordered it there's a bunch of stuff in here I'll throw that in as well and then I think there was something else here that I saw. Yeah, are these two, three, three things. Uh, uh, let's see. This is the new Yankee Stadium. It looks like it's a poster. It looks like it's a poster in there. I'll toss that in. And coming attractions. This is the Trenton Thunder April highlights. I'll put that in there. And then there's four of these. They're the 7-Eleven Slurpee Baseball Trading Cups. Collect all. But this is just the um, actual um, pictures of the cups. I don't know if they're anything, but I'll throw those in as well. Might as well make it worth your while, right? Oh, wait. Just bent over. Saw this. Let's throw this in here, too. Pro. The 12 Seasons of Joe Namath. And this one is the official magazine of National Football. Uh, Jets edition, Miami versus New York Jets, November 7th, 1976. On that, we'll throw that in there too. Why not? Why not? Oh, and these cards... They're not in great shape, but I'll put them in there anyway. Maybe you guys can do something with those. Uh, oh, and this is a Jita photo, but I feel like it's been through the mill. But again, I'll I'll toss it in there. Maybe you guys can frame it or straighten it out a little bit. It didn't get taken care of in the best of ways, but I know you guys are probably ingenious and you'll figure it out. Were you calling me? No. Oh, okay. I should have done a, let's unpack Joey this. Joey D again, please. Joe DiMaggio. Joe DiMaggio. Yes. What are you showing two hundred and fifty dollars? Sports books. Nice stuff. I'm not sure what he wanted Hi, to Bruce. see. I don't remember what the Joe DiMaggio was.
Was it going to be the last thing I'm going to look at here? <laughs> Oh, this one. Yeah, this one, like I said, it's black and white. I don't know anything about it. I don't have any COA. I don't know if those are signatures or photocopies. If I was to guess on this one, unlike the mantle that I believe is a real signature, this one I would have to think is a copy or a photograph. Hey, Bruce. That's all right. No worries. <laughs> no worries. All good. The bid is at two fifty to bluegrass. Two fifty to bluegrass. Two sixty to Vinci's treasures. All right, let's reach into the bag of treats. This is a photo from Cleet Boyer, the Yankees third baseman, on here. But there is some issues at the bottom. But I just reached into my box here of tricks. Anthony jumps the bid. Ding 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 ding. Three hundred. Woohoo, Anthony! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nineteen eighty nine All Star Fan Ballot. How about the nineteen eighty appointment calendar and sports schedule? Huh. Not a mark in it either. Bruce says T, do you still have the World War Two I W O? Jima signed photo still in back of me it's still behind me what is why is it behind you because i'm not selling it why are you keeping it what what is it uh one two three four five copies of the bronx news newspapers from April 2009, September 2009, September 2009, July 2009, and August 2009. I'll throw those in there. Robert Williams is out. All right. Heisman winner, obituary. And, oh, I guess we had a lot of sports people. Jai, Jack Cassidy, senior, 93 golf pro. I'll throw that in there, too. I don't know, but it was in my bag of tricks. So there you go. There you have it. Oh, I don't know if I, um, oh yeah, I did. I showed you guys that. Okay. He says, Oakley Doakley. I don't think I know what that is. I don't think I was here when you showed it. What's that? Whatever it is that you're hiding in the back. Oh, the Hirojima. Um, it signs. Oh, nice. Who's yeah. it signed by? Um, Bruce could tell us better. He knew. He was the Medal of Honor winner. All right. I think we've got Robert out. High bid to Bluegrass Picker for 300 <clears throat> Sold, sold, sold. Sold, sold, sold. Three Benjamins. Thank you, Anthony. To Anthony. Thank you, Anthony. Okay, I'm going on. Go ahead, honey. All right. Hi, guys. All right. So I'm going to do this one as just, I'm going to put this camera on. Uh, let's see. There we go. So 
I um I stole Le Liberace's cufflinks. Oh God! <laughs> so let me show you what's here. Now these are vintage, so I am going to guess that they probably all have signatures on them. I'm going to start these at 25. You guys, okay, Anthony, I got you for the Ichiro. Thank you. You guys are going to have to research them, but holy cow! Like, look at these. Look at these cufflinks. Amazing, right? Yeah. So you get um, you get a set of those in there, and then there's these. Absolutely beautiful. So that's two, and these are three. They're gorgeous. And check these out. Oh my gosh. These are like, these scream Palm Beach. These are for Aurora Borealis. T taught me that word. <laughs> They're beautiful. And... Here's another set. Bye, Bruce. Have a good night, honey. And this is the third set. Good night, Bruce. Okay, so you get one, two, three, four, five, six sets. Six sets all together. Very ornate. Yeah, shiny. Pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny. Pam's at Moni Love, I have your um I got your I don't know if I answered to you. I don't know if I answered you in my mind or if I answered your email, but I have your I have your um Halloween costumes and I have that tapping game too that I'm gonna combine shipping on and invoice you for. Okay. I think that we'll add something to this. Let's see what else I've got here. I think we'll add This. So that's a tie pin and cufflinks. Look at, I mean, if these don't scream Liberace, I don't know what does. I'm telling you, they came from Palm Beach. They could be Liberace's for all we know. Is the picture clear, you guys? I'm like, this is new to me doing this. Or do you prefer, prefer me doing it with the lens? So you get that as well in this lot. I don't even know what's in half these boxes. How about this? Pearls by Lady of Spain. Hi, Boston. I don't know anything about this stuff. You'll have to test it. 
see what we've got. That's going to go in the lot. Um, let's see. I'm going to add something else. T's, T's not here, Shriker. How about... Those. This is 19, this is early 1930s new. That's going to go in there. Let me check and see if I can find Belfast real quick while well, you guys take a look at those. Is it Belfast Cellar? Belfast Cellar, yes, we have it. Yes, I'm gonna give Belfast Cellar a wrench. Belfast Cellar is good. Um, How about this? This is steel and this is velvet. And inside is this absolutely stunning necklace and earrings and it's made by Lang. L A N G. Look how pretty this case is. It's all velvet. Reminds me of that apartment I just uh, recently bought with the velvet wallpaper. Okay, so that's going in there. Pretty. Um, how about this? How pretty those are. Do you know? That's going to go in this lot. Let's put it here, maybe. You should be able to see everything. How about these? I didn't even take them off the card and I'm not going to, I'm not going to check to see if they say gold or not. This is that. They're beautiful. We're at 70.
Nice lot, huh, you guys? Ooh, these are very beautiful. These are like very, um, um, what's that era called? Um, what's this era called, you guys? They're like, um, oh, God, like the flapper, the flapper era? What is that, T, the flapper era? You mean like the 20s? Yeah, the 20s, yeah. Okay, Remind and you the, have two wrenches you can give out, one to um, Desert Girl Jill. Jill? And one to Kim Murphy. Okay, Jill, got you. And Kim Murphy, if you want to make a comment. I got Jill. Art Deco. Yes, Art Deco. That's the word I was looking for. Art Deco. Hollywood Regency. Yeah. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Zuli. Yeah, kind of Victorian as well. Roaring 20s. Yes. Yes, it's Roaring good. 20s is good too. These are beautiful, these cufflinks. They're amazing. They're all amazing. Every single one of them. This is a true find. You don't see stuff like this anywhere. These DG know are beautiful too. Ding, 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 Susan. Thank you, Susan. This is also T. Did you see this? I know you stepped away. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, I did. You saw this? No, I did step away. No. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. And But look at the case. Look at the case. It's all, it's all velvet. Nice. And look at the condition of just the case. Noelle, hello, sweetheart. Hi, Noelle. Hey, hey, hey. Look at that. All velvet. Julie, I hate to be that person, but sweetheart, we need 110 when we get to when we get to 100, it's $10 increments. So 110 would be the next bid. These are blue stones, you guys. This is a beautiful set right there. It's gorgeous. Who's Lady of Spain? Is she someone special? Yeah. Is she These are amazing also. Is the picture clear, you guys? Because to me, it looks a little blurry. I'm going to go get my lens and hold it up and hold it up like the old fashioned way. not going to affect it but okay let me put myself on all right let me show you these with the lens so you can see how beautiful they are they're really stunning Those are the turtles. Let me just position my lens. Okay. Hi, Andrea. Andrea, you seeing this lot? Hey, Andrea. This is the necklace with the matching earrings by Lang. And Andrea, look at how beautiful the case is. It's all velvet. 
It's so beautiful. Here, I'm going to switch over to this camera so you can see the whole lot. And then I'm going to show some pieces like individually. Hold on one second. Let's see. So that's the whole lot. And these, these are like roaring 20s. These are the ones that I wanted to show you with the lens. Let me switch over to the to me again so I can show you with the lens. How beautiful. These are stunning. They're all very old. They're not new. Let me see if these have anything written on them. They do. They have an R. I don't know what R stands for. I'm not going to take the R is on, on the bottom of this. There's an R. So I don't know what the R stands for. And then... Um, All right, Susan's in for 130 now. Zuli is out. One up. Zuli comes back in at 140. There's those. Everybody's saying the turtles are earrings? Yes. Or are they cufflinks? Um, let me look. 150 to Susan. These cufflinks are amazing. Okay, it's a little blurry. What's a little blurry? Me doing it this way? Yay, you're finally home. All right, give you one last peek in case there's any last minute bitters coming in. If not, we're going to sell it, sell it, sell it. Oh, my gosh, Andrea, the cufflinks are amazing. It looks All like right, we're going to go once to Susan. It's like I broke into Liberace's house. <laughs> Zuli's out. Look at them. Jules is asking if the loop is dirty. <laughs> oh, is it? I just wiped it. I don't think so. Mrs. Anonymous. Hi there. Hello, Hi. Mrs. Anonymous. I hope you're doing well, sweetheart. Hope as well. Hi, bit it, Susan. Froggy wants to see the back of the turtles. The back of the turtles? Does she want me to take them off the, the thing, the card? No, they clip on, right? Yep. Oh my God, I'm, I'm not used to the camera, but I will. Right. Okay, Susan saying. said the turtles were going to be a surprise. All right. Oh, good to hear, Mrs. Anonymous. Let me see if it says anything on the box. Oh, it says made in Spain on the turtle box. I mean, I love, I love the cufflinks, but this set here is just absolutely gorgeous. Sold, sold, sold to Susan for 150. Congratulations, awesome. Susan. Awesome, awesome deal. Awesome, Susan. Thank you so much. All right. So this is collection. 
of gems, I'm going to call it, for 150 to Susan. And Susan took advantage of the gift certificates. So, Susan, that burnt a hole in your pocket real fast. <laughs> you already spent it. You woke up just in time. <laughs> it's a beautiful lot. It's gorgeous. Um, all right, let's do some. Don't fall, Tigger. Don't fall. Don't fall. Stay. Stay. I'm going to do those as one-offs later, you guys. Okay, let's do some comics. Boarded and bagged. This is volume number 86. Still only 35 cents. It started at 25. There's one. 30 cents, volume number 173. Spider-Man again. Um, 30 cents, Marvel Comics, volume number 166. Reptile Man. The Amazing Spider-Man Mysterious Mysterio is back and this is and this time he's not alone. 25 cents February 141. They're in excellent condition. You can see. 35 cents, volume number 184, The Amazing Spider-Man again. Um, this is anonymous. I ran a special um, Thursday, I think it was. I'll do it again, but I, I reached my, I was going to run it through the weekend, but I, I, I had a, a, a goal in mind and I capped the goal like in seven hours or six hours. So I, I did a sold out on them. 30 cents. Um, volume number 160, 30 cents, The Amazing Spider-Man again. Is it storming bad there, Flippin' Flamingos? It's beautiful here. Um, 25 cents, volume number 133. Uh, 35 cents, volume number 182. Rocket Racers. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man, volume number 168, 30 cents. Kyle comes in at 25. Thank you, Kyle. The Amazing Spider-Man, 25 cents, volume number 146. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man, 20 cents, volume number 127. So let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve. How about this one? Makes it thirteen. Hey Ed, how have you been? Long time no see. And this one is fourteen. All right. Desert Girl Jill came in at thirty. Kyle at thirty-two. Bluegrass now at forty. And this one will make it 15, 15 comics. Edwin's in at 42. How are you, Edwin? Hello, Hello Edwin. Edwin. Hi, good to Welcome see you guys. In.
Billy, do we have a registration from you? Flippin' Hot Pines is at 50. While you check the registration. Fifty five to girl. Thank you, girl. I can't call you Jill because we have another Jill in the chat. So I'm gonna call you girl. Okay, girl? <laughs> oh God. I'm just gonna call you girl. <laughs> Is girl okay? <laughs> Billy is registered. Okay, thank you, Billy. So he came in first for 50. Um, did we go past 50? Uh, yeah, girl came in at 55. Okay, there's your wrench, Billy. Thank you. Girl says, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> You guys don't forget about Lava Lamp Live later on. If you guys don't know what Lava Lamp Live is, it's another channel that I have. It's silent. There's no chatter. <laughs> Quiet. Hey, Easton. And Belfast Seller comes in for 60. We watch a Lava Lamp and we talk about whatever subject we want to talk about. It could be reselling. It could be about units and how big units are. <laughs> It can be anything. <laughs> Kyle, that's fine. Oh, it's 65. We've got 15. I'm going to I'm going to add a few more. You guys can come back in if you want. This one is 40 cents volume 194. Good night, Stephen. Good night, Stephen. Here is 40 cents volume 197. Yes, lots of quiet chatter, Susan. Exactly. <laughs> this one is volume number 199. This one is volume number 201. And here we have volume number 213. So that gives you a total of... One, let's see, I need to put something here so I know where I start. I think it's I think it's 20. Saxton, you're awfully quiet tonight, darling. What's going on? You've been visiting the tomato garden? Okay. So let's see, that's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can I see 200? How am I going to find 200? Let me see. 190, 198, 186. 173, 166, 144, and you know I lost my counting now. 170, 160, 133, 213, 201, 199. We're getting close. 197, 194, 182, 168, 146, 127. There's no 200. <laughs> Up and hot binds. Really? <laughs> It's the last few you added. Uh, it'll be the last one, Crown Royal says. 190. Make sure they're not stuck to something's not stuck together. 188, 186, 173, 166, 141, 184, 170. 160, 133, 213, 201. Did I say 200? I think it was 201. Is it this one? Did I say 200 by accident? 
Maybe it's this one. This is one of the last one. Oh, thank you, Shriker. So did I count them? So let's just count them quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, thanks, guys. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oopsie, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 20 of them, 20 in the stack. We've got 75 for high bid. Are we done and done for the comics? Anybody else? 80 to Desert Girl. Desert Girl comes in at 80. Thank you, sweetheart. Easton is out. 85 to Kyle. Backpack treasures refresh, honey. You're lagging a bit. 90 to flipping hot finds. One Benjamin to Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. 110 to Billy. Thank you, Billy. There's a girl's out. Kyle's at 120. Billy's at 130. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, Kyle. Yes, very good condition. Look. One forty to Kyle. One fifty to Billy. Thank you, Billy. Can you see the condition good the way I'm showing it, you guys? Yeah, we can see it. It's usually the corners and the edges they're more concerned about. That gives them a good view, right? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Shriker. Yeah, excellent condition. <clears throat> Kyle's in at 160. Thank you, Kyle. Bring in the fire tonight, Anthony's saying. You got it, baby. Right, Kyle? <laughs> Kyle's so funny. Did you read what he said? No. <laughs> He's helping Donna pay for her trip to New York City. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle. So we my, did girl, 170. my girls would love that you said that. <laughs> New York. How many times did we hear him say this? Oh, my here? God. New York. Crazy. <laughs> they roll out, roll down the window and scream it out the door <laughs> of the car. <laughs> They're so much fun, aren't they, T? They are. They really are. Such good spirits. Ah, oh, that was Tigger. <laughs> oh, okay. As long as it wasn't lava. <laughs> no, lava's fine. It was Tigger. Tigger, what are you doing? Tigger fell. Tigger! He's coming up as a as a one-off, you guys. He's beautiful. He's huge.
Okay, oh, look at Striker. <laughs> Hi, Kyle. Does it really? That's awesome, Anthony. So I am going to, um, I'm actually picking up a truckload of plush tomorrow, you guys. Double I'm Benjamins from Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. I'm, I am going to offer a, uh, pre-orders tonight of plush because I'm picking up like a tremendous amount of plush tomorrow. Lots of Disney, lots of all kinds of stuff. So if anybody wants to take advantage of some pre-orders, I'll make them super duper awesome for you. If you give me a pre-order tonight, because if I can buy more, then that would be awesome. Hey, Kyle Teron. Hey, Jack. Hi, Jack. Oh, you um, thank you, Jack. What did you buy? <laughs> I don't even know what he bought. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. <laughs> yes, Lindsay. I do. I have some. All right, we have Billy in a 210. Hey, Kyle Teron. What's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? Where's Carrie? Where's Carrie tonight? Yeah. 220 from Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. Oh, the fishing reels. You got such a good deal, Jack. Holy cow. Yes. Are you going to clean them and list them or are you keeping them? I'm so curious. Yeah, that was awesome. That and just to awesome. remind you guys also for Donna and I, we are in that challenge. Please make sure that tonight, maybe sometime after the auction, you go over and check our eBay store for the uh, auction items that we have. I actually listed some other ones as well. And I'm going to be doing 99 cent free shipping auctions on my eBay store. Um, Amy, thank you so much. I, I, I was thinking someone sent me a message saying they wanted me to invoice them for a dog lot. Amy, did you want big ones or little ones? I'm thinking you want little ones. Is that what you said to me for the dog lot? I'm going to write it down on my slip right now. I'll send it out to you tomorrow. Billy comes in for 2.30 now. Let me know, Amy. Dog lot to Amy Dorito. Small dog. Okay, awesome. So for those of you that are new, I, I offer one of my auctions is finally up to $10. Love out loud, Melissa. There's 20, Robert. There's 20 of them. Um, those of you that are new, I sell plush. Okay, thank you, Amy. I'll get it out for you tomorrow, though. Um, I sell what, what we call... Um, um, dog lots and what they are, are, I can show you an example. They're, they're stuffed animals that are like not 100% like, like perfect. Like they might have a little rip in them or like dirty or something like that. And I sell a big, huge bundle for $18 shipped. I pay the shipping $18 um for your animals for your cats your dogs whatever so um i always have those available and then i am gonna offer um disney lots i'm picking up a huge huge lot of disney plush tomorrow 75 dollars for a disney lot those of you that have bought plush from me you know how nice the plush is so after the, the gentlemen are done um, bidding, you can let me know and I'll take some pre-orders and I'll make sure that I include some extra pieces because you're pre-ordering. 
I received the books and cards and FDI stamps from you, T. Thank you both. Awesome. Thanks, Jack. Kim Murphy. It's 255. And yes, Kim, you're good. We were waiting for you to make a comment. Okay. Thank you, Kim. Thank you for joining the family. Everybody, welcome, Kim. Thank you so much for being here. Kyle is out. Looks like Billy's going to steal him unless there's any snipers. Yes, Linda, I have tons of Beanie Babies. Tons and tons of Beanie Babies. I have so many of them in my mini storage. Hey, Melissa. Amy, I don't know if I said hi to you guys. Yeah, Melissa said she, she, she was talking about her auction items. Yeah, Melissa, too. She's in the challenge with us. Make sure you're going over and seeing our... If you guys hit hashtag auction 99 yeah, that's or it. hashtag my five auction 99 if anybody's done a video i did a short on it yesterday but i listed my um more than my five i think i added three more yesterday that didn't win for 99 cents free shipping and i'm adding two more tonight when we get off and i'm going to continually add 99 cents free shipping to my ebay store Billy S T E A R T. First time winner. First time winner, Billy. Congratulations. Congratulations. We you checked. We have all of Billy's information. We do. Okay. Awesome, Billy. Thank you so much, Billy. Okay, so let me talk about my plush lots, you guys. Um so $75. For a big plush lot of all Disney plush, um, I can't take I can't take pre-orders on Build a Bear because I don't know if I'm going to get Build a Bear, Susan. Because <laughs> I'm always told that Build a Bear is going to be out, and then I go and they're filled with Build a Bear. Um, and then I have fifty dollars for a mixed plush lot, so you'll get some Disney, some mixed, some just ordinary stuff. Um, so if anybody wants to give me a pre-order on that stuff there, I can I can uh, write it down. So Disney $75 and mixed would be $50. So you'd get maybe one or two um, Disney, maybe a Build-A-Bear, and then the rest is just all um, mixed. And with that being said, let's, let's auction off Tigger. This is an example of the kind of plush that I'll be getting tomorrow. Here's look at the way he's doing the arm. It's sewn on. Like that's the way his arm is. Like he's doing like the swag thing. It's so funny. Yep. Right? Yeah. So that's that's a signature Tigger. He's huge. Angela, you want a Disney plush lot? Okay. And Angela, I got your your I got two things coming out to you as well. So um I'll try to get that 111 in the chat. Thank you, Susan. All right, I'm going to write you down for a lot of plush, Disney plush. Doing the dab. Doesn't it look like he's doing the dab? It does. It looks like he's doing the dab. Okay, so this is lot number six, Disney, and it's going to um, Angela. Unless I already sent it out, Angela. I know I tried to send out as much as I could before I went away. Um, the Tigger, I, I'd like to start him off at $20, $20 for him. He's really beautiful. I don't know if, you know, there's enough room for reselling on him, but he, he is. I don't know if anybody wants to buy him for personal use, but he is a Disney Tigger, and he's huge. He's Beautiful. I bet this cost like $75 in the Disney store when he was for sale. Doing the dab. No, you're not. Farm Girl Scavenger says, Melissa got the, got the shout out for the challenge. I'm the rotten apple again. No, you're not, sweetheart. If somebody, you've got a wrench, Noelle. Drop, drop your link, sweetheart. Oh, good, 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 Angela. 
pussy. I don't even know. Oh, I don't even know. I'm like, I'm glad that I shipped it for you. <laughs> awesome. Amy wants to do it for 20. Thank you, Amy. Cool Ranch Dorito loves Tigger for $20. He's beautiful, Amy, and he's so clean and so cute. He's a cutie pie. Dee's Collections comes in at 22. Thank you, Dee's. Twenty-five to Amy. Thank you, Amy. Twenty-seven to D's. Thank you, D's. Jen Bennett. Hello, sweetheart. Thanks for coming in. Thirty to Amy. Thank you, Amy. Let's see how beautiful he is. In excellent condition. He's like brand new. And for those of you that do buy my plush, you can. You can, uh, you know, when, you know, I have actually a vintage lot coming up of plush tonight, but most of my plush is like this beautiful quality. If it's dirty, I'll tell you that it's dirty. All right. We've got Amy in. Oops. Boston's excited. Something happened to Boston. No, he was just excited about something. All right, eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Like wow, the gold <laughs> lining on what Tigger. Jump quick. <laughs> Tigger's so happy, isn't he, Kim? He's so happy, smiling. Fair warning, and we're going to be sold, sold, sold to Amy Dorito. Thank you, honey. You're going to love him. He's beautiful. All right, T, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did you finish with your plush? Oh, I've got, I've got like six bags of plush lined up, but you go ahead. I'll, I'll just, you know, we're coming on tomorrow again too. So whatever I don't get to tonight, we'll, we'll get to tomorrow night. Alrighty. You're up. I'm up. All right. Let's show these books. All right. As you know, a lot of these books are often kept in plastic. I'll try to include the plastic. I apologize. I know I sent one out recently that I forgot to put back in the plastic, plastic but I'll try to make sure I do it. Christy and Jimmy McNichol. How many of you remember them? How many of you remember this guy? Sean Cassidy. Sean Cassidy scrapbook. This is awesome. This is, I should probably tell you the year on the Jimmy. One, two. 1978 on that really nice condition on this book. The Christy and Jim, Jimmy McNichol is... There was a little crease on the on the top of the book too. 1979 as well. Jason Priestley. This is all pretty much TV. This lot. Um, 1991 on that one. Right, right, Amy. Blast from the past. This is Life at Baywatch. Yeah, I think everybody did, Desert Girl Jill. I think everybody had a crush on him. Nineteen ninety six on that one. Nineteen 
This one is Fernwood USA, an illustrated guide from the folks who brought you Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. And this one is 1877. Again, most of these are in really nice shape. If there's up, it does have a remainder mark. So just FYI. The Today Show. Nineteen eighty seven on that one. Again, nice condition. Tonight. An anecdotal history of America's favorite talk show. First printing, May 1974. Honey West. This is a second printing, 1965, with an original copyright of 1959. It's a little bit of a dip in the corner here, just FYI. This is a Reader's Digest with Mel Gibson. Hardy Boy, Super Sleuth. Oh, this is a word find. Let's see if it's it's clean. Oh, it's not clean. There's one done. <laughs> There's one done in there. I'll show it to you. It looks like the very first one in the book. Yep. The very first one. Now, if you're careful, you might be able to erase the pencil. But that's the only one done in there. The rest are, are clean. And again, the book is in nice condition. And the year on this one is 1977. Then we have Sweetheart. of the 60s in TV. The Dream Wives, Girls Next Door, Comic Cuties, Women of Action, Fantasy Figures from your favorite shows. Babette comes in for 20. Thank you, Babette. And this one is... Nineteen eighty nine on that one. Eight is enough, Christy McNichol. Yes, yes. All right, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 11 total. Oh, Amy, he did, did he? I didn't even know that. I wasn't, I don't know if that I was the big, a big fan as a lot of my friends were. I don't remember being a big Sean Cassidy fan. Jabby comes in for 22. Babette's in for 24. And I just want to double check because I thought for some reason I had another book sitting here. Let's make sure I can just move it or move it over someplace. No, 
I'm moving on. I thought I had one more. I mean, I, I have more. Believe me. <laughs> Believe me, I do. Just not tonight. All right, Babette's in for 30. Jabby's going to be out. We're going to call it to Babette. And another first time winner here tonight. We call that lot TV books. And it's Babette. How do you say last name, Babette? Britain. And guys, um, I know we have a lot of new people here. Just so you guys know, um, we do invoice. That's why we ask you guys to register. We will send you an invoice um, tomorrow. And then please pay the invoice timely. And as soon as you pay, we'll ship it out. So um, just so you guys know, I don't know that we kind of went over all the rules and stuff. And we should have since we had so many of um, you guys new here tonight. All right, the next slide, I'm going to have more books I'm going to do. This is on music. Bob Dylan Chronicles. This is, this actually has a dedication inside of it, not from Dylan. <laughs> Definitely not from Dylan. Um, it just, it, it's it's a, every must, must get stoned. Love George, George and Doris. I don't know, it's just a Merry Christmas. Um Book is very dirty and dusty, just FYI. A lot of dust. But dirt and dust is always free here at the auction. This is 2004. So, yeah, if you can see the dust on it, I'll try to wipe it off a little bit. I didn't realize it. This is Life, Keith Richards. Up, oh, this one too also has a. 2011, Merry Christmas, love ya, George and Doris. I guess somebody was a big um, music fan. They bought books for all the time. And this one is 2010 on that one. This is a Newsweek magazine, Dylan Lives, and then an Entertainment Weekly, Frank Sinatra. So there's two magazines in there. Then we have a Blondie. Take this one out. Magic test. Okay. Blondie. And this one is from... Nineteen eighty. First first. It's got a lot of nice illustrations in it as well. So that's the blondie. Then we have Bowie. Nice condition. Yes, Babbitt, invoice, yes. Yes, please wait for an invoice. All right. Uh, 1985 on the David Bowie. The Star, the Station of the Stars, Radio Luxembourg, Record Stars. This one does have, could be a price clip that's possible on that for that, the, the way it looks like that. 1964 on this book. 1964, really nice shape, really nice shape on this book. Lots of nice photos in there as well. Chris Spine, very Chris Spine. Okay, 
Mad About the Boy, The Life and Times of Boy George and Culture Club. Nineteen eighty four, first American edition, full number line. And here are some of the illustrations in here. Hey, Denise. And that's that one. And the last one is Judy Collins. And I'm going to take it out of this plastic, but I think it's in another plastic besides. This one is really, this one's really sealed. I'm not even going to take it out. You guys, you want to take it out, take it out. Julie Collins, and here's the back. I mean, it's been taped so, so long in here, the tape has yellowed on the actual plastic. So that's what you get. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. And nine with the Dylan. And that one's the one that's got the dust. <laughs> nine in total on that. And again, the ones that were in plastic, I will make sure I include back the plastic on that. All right, Jabby's in for 30 now. Oh, wait, there's more. I pulled I pulled other books. I'm, I forgot I pulled them. I forgot I pulled them. I forgot. Yep, there is one, two, three more. Rolling Stone, Rock Almanac. I forgot I pulled these. This one does have some spine loss there, and it does have some chipping. It's not perfect. This one is 1983 first. Okay, but it's not it's not as perfect as some of the other ones have been. There are some creasing and some chipping. This is called Rock Dreams. And again, the spine is chipped. And the year on this one is... This one's older, I can just tell. 1973. Yeah. Yeah, because you can see the spine is actually missing in this part when I opens it. But this one's got some awesome photos in it. Definitely has some really awesome photos in it. Look at these. King. All right, so that's that one. And the last one is Candidly Elvis. Young picture of Elvis there. Again, spine chipping, some fading, and a fully illustrate all of Elvis in here. And this one is... 1978. 1978 on that one. You 
definitely have some fading on there. All right, so now we have 12 in total. 12 in total. All right, we're going to call it to Jabby. Everyone else is out. All right, Babette is out. Thank you, guys. All right, let's call it to Jabby's treasure. Thank you, Jason. Four forty. Congratulations. All right, nice deal. Nice deal. All right, let's try. First, put these down. Make sure I give you guys back your put anything that's in plastic. I think Jabby, you're the one that I might have forgotten last time. All right. Let's let's do these few cards. I don't know. We'll see if there's any interest. If there is great. If there's not, well, we'll bring something else. But these are um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I had another one here. Twelve. All right. Some of them are in very hard cases. I know I've been doing some of these case ones. I found another whole big box of them. So I know I've been doing some of them in the special orders. Um, and guys, if anybody wants a special order, let me know what my special orders are. Are It's a baseball lot. And it's... Oh, actually, I think there's more here. I don't know. I just grabbed the stack. Um, my special orders include 30 cards in specialty cases like this, and then 30 top-loaded baseball cards front and back. So 18 cards on a sheet, you get 30 sheets, and then you get two packs of sealed um, Bowman 1989 uh, cards, if anybody is interested in that. Um, that's my $50 special on that. I'm still running that. It's all baseball on that though. I think in this one, there's some football and basketball in this particular one. And this one is also going to include a sealed 1988 Fleer logo stickers and trading cards um, sealed on that. So that's going to come in this one as well as this. Please don't eat the gum. Please guys don't eat the gum. This is called Merlin's Kickoff. I'm assuming it's soccer, it's tops, it's 22 mini stickers. And forget the two bazooka bubble gums that's in here. <laughs> I know, Anthony, any luck? Did you, did you open yours? <laughs> All right, so here's the cards. All right, this is Enrique Wilson. Number 273. This is Kirby Puckett. This one's in a very thick thing. It says all-star class. It's, oh, it's Scotty Pippen. If I can get it to focus, we'd really be in business here. This is Bob Boozer. Oh, this says equal on it. I guess it was some, oh, and it's pink on the back. I guess it has some, some kind of special. It was put out 25th anniversary. Um, and again, it's branded equal on there. And that's that one. Oh, here's one with Scottie Pippen too as well. Equal. Equal. 
This is Patrick Ewing. Pinnacle number 105. And that is. T needs to get her loop to see that. You might as well look at it together, right? See what year it is. See if I can focus this a little bit better. Well, this is a newer card. It looks like 18 on that card. This one is Van Exel, number nine of the Lakers. Oh, awesome, Anthony. Milwaukee and Green Bay. Ray Allen, Brett Favre. This looks like this card is numbered. It says 497 of 600. Oh, here's another equal, John Paxson. This is a Mickey Mantle upper deck. Then a now TN17 on that. Very thick case on that one as well. 1993, which actually makes it a 94, right? Rod Carew Spectrum Diamond Club. Again, very thick. Oh, this looks like it's numbered as well. Diamond Club promo set 6325 of 10,000, 1993 Spectrum Holdings Group. Um, again, thick, thick plastic on that one. This one, too. Here's another Rod Carew. And this one is 698 of 5,000. Record Breakers, Harmon Killebrew. Two thousand and two on that one. Jason Giambi Super Spotlight. This one is just in a regular plastic sheet. It's not even in a hard case. Two thousand and two as well. Who is this, Kevin? I don't know, but it's 131 of 260 on this. Phil Nevin of the Padres. Where's the... Yeah, it's down here. It says 131 of 250 on that. And the last one is Willie Randolph, New York Yankees. And that one is 1984. And I have another pack of cards here. These cards, these tops traded from 91. Um, the only problem with these is they all seem to have that little bit of a curve in them, but I'll throw that in. Oh, here's, this is actually another kickoff, whatever this kickoff was, and a book with it. So I'll throw that in as well. So that's what you get. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20 pieces on that. You know what? I have one of these Super Squad Baseball Superstar comic books I'll throw in there, and then you guys will get a choice of an Ichiro or uh, a couple of minor league books, whichever you prefer. Call Bach. <laughs> You're not going to eat the gum. <laughs> How are you, sir? <laughs> no gum chewing for you. Pam, you it's in for 42. Eastern, you were up. Pam, 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 you were in first at 42. Belfast Seller is now at 44. Desert Girl Jill wipes you both out at 50. <laughs> $50 to Desert Girl Jill. We need a $55 bid now. And let's uh, throw in these Don Mattingly sealed cards. There's a pack of Don Mattingly sealed cards there. And this is a Willie Mays. It's one of those kind of Specialty tin cards. It's a tin. Never mind, Lindsay Ann. The gum is yummy. <laughs> Don't chew the gum. I'm not responsible. Definitely not responsible if you chew the gum. Pam's in a 55. Yeah, I found some more um, some more of these, like I said, these plastic ones today. So if anybody wants that special, there's another nice little new assortment, some signed as well. So I'll jumble those up and pick 30 of them out, along with the 30 sheets of cards and the two unopened packs of 89 Bowman. And it's yours for $50. It's a great deal. All right, Pam's going to be out. Easton is out. We're going to call it to Jill. Oh, Larry comes in at 65. Donnie is so quiet. Oh, sorry. I was um, putting lots together. I'm listening, but I was okay. working in the background. All right. Desert Girl Jill at 70 now. Hey, Wonder Woman. Hey, Wendy. 75 to Larry. Anybody else come in when I was away? Um, I don't think so. Did you tell your husband I brought you coffee in bed? No, I didn't actually. <laughs> I have really had a chance to speak, to be honest with you. It's been a little crazy since I've been back. Mm -hmm. All right, Jill's going to be out. We're going to sell it to Larry. All right, we're going to go once to Larry. And then Larry, just let me know, hon, if you want uh, 
another um, Ichiro, or you want to pick, I'll, I'll throw in some minor league books that I have. Just a mixed lot of some minor league stuff if you want that. All right, we're going to call it to Larry. Sold to Larry M for 75. Thank you, Larry. All right, honey, you're up. I am. I am. You is. All right, well, let me see. I wanted to try to set up this phone again, but I... My phone died. It's going to charge some more, so I can't set it up right now. Okay. okay. <clears throat> I'll set it up the next time. Hey, Sherry. Been lurking the whole hey, time. Sherry. Again. Oh, Sherry. I always say Sherry. Sorry, Sherry. <laughs> um, okay, Larry, okay. you got it. I'm going to do a um, roach lot. I'm going to move my coffee over here because I have them on here. This is a pretty eclectic. It, the container's not for sale. Um, I can't get any more of these. If I did, I would sell them. I sold quite a few. Um, so I have to keep it because I love using it to show my items. Oops. How come this is not opening? Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, wow. yeah, pretty, right? Yeah. So it's pretty eclectic. Um, you've got some new stuff. Those look like Girl Scouts. That's kind of like a dream catcher. That one with the A is ceramic. Um, this is uncurated, you guys. I didn't look to see what the brand names are because then I'm going to want to list them and hey, Jill. do your job. You're welcome, Larry. You, Jill. So this, this beautiful one here on the bottom has matching earrings. You can see I put them right there. Um, and then there, there's kind of like a... That one's definitely vintage, that massive, just all kinds of stuff. And then this one's really beautiful up here, too, the, the flower. And then the big feather is really pretty. Palm tree, Christmas, the triple hearts, the angel. That one says mom and grandma. I think there's two grandmas. There's a couple of little pewter ones. Um, that one is really beautiful, too. Um so yeah, let's start it at 25. Good choice. That one looks like it's pewter as well. The little hat. So it's a nice assortment. Okay. <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> This one down here is really beautiful. I don't I don't know what the story is with that one. That's a beautiful assortment. All right. Andrea comes in at 27. This one right here is really pretty too. That one right there. 29 to Belfast. Let me know if there's any of them that you want to see specifically up close. I'll be happy to get the donor loop out and show you. That one just looks really special to me. I don't know. Hey, Valerie Galmish. Welcome in. Hi, Valerie. Nice to see you. Valerie, I have a small item of yours also put aside. Oh, 
Let's see. All right, Valerie came in first with the 35. Easton, if you want to do, there we go, 37. Babette, Belfast Beach in with the 37 if you want to do 39. Thirty nine to Valerie. They want to see the crest. My favorite. That one. Mm hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Jill, what did you say, honey? Um, the big <laughs> white one on top. Jill wants to see <laughs> the ceramic one. Jill's looking for. All right, so there's that one. And I think she wants to see the white ceramic one. Okay. It's Take just dirty. Valerie. It's just dirty. It needs to be cleaned. Sorry. Dirt dust is always that. free here at the auctions. If we're going to clean stuff, we're going to sell it ourselves. It's definitely ceramic and it's held on with this ball. You're going to have to do some research on it. It's probably marked underneath the ceramic what it is. So no telling unless you can do some research and find it yourself. All right. We have that. that uh, Valerie in at 50, 55 would be the next bid. Babette and Easton are out. This one's beautiful. I'll show you this one up close. 55 to Andrea Baker. An original by Robert. 60 to Valerie. Robert made pretty things. My Robert makes delicious things. This Robert oh. makes fancy things. <laughs> All right, we got Valerie at 60. Let us know, Andrea. I'm going to take a look at this one here because now I'm curious. I don't see any markings. So you're going to have to look it up. And this looks like it's got a hoop so that you could wear it like a necklace. Look, it's got a hole in it. Where's that hole? See the hole? I don't know. It's like a trumpet. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you, Andrea. Andrea's out. Watch, the most expensive one will be the creepy clown. Everybody hates clowns. That was my lot number eight. 
pins and feather, feather, feather. Does somebody want to see the feather? Is that why Shriker's saying that? Oh, can you show the feather? Yes, I can show the feather. There's two feathers. There's a feather with a pearl, and then there's a big, huge feather. Did you want to see both? They're just one, or let's see. Where's my Where's my loop? What'd you do with my loop? There's this feather. And then there's, oh, this is probably more leaf than it is a feather, right? And then this feather, which I would test if I were you. It's got that soft kind of, you know, I don't want to say gold, but has that soft kind of gold feeling. It could be maybe 10 carat. Who knows? Maybe it's not. I don't know. But you know how you can tell like metal from gold, like you can feel it, but it's not tested. Sergeant Spork says, I love the clown. <laughs> the clown is pretty awesome, Sergeant Spork. Let me get them off of them. The clown is pretty awesome. It's definitely an artisan piece. Look at the way it's made. It's like they put that big clip on it. I mean, he's really awesome. He's a good looking clown. Yeah, he's awesome. Right. And we have Valerie. Galmish at 80. Yeah, it does look old. Looks really old. It's really cool looking. The, the clown, I, I know people don't like clowns, but the clown, the clown pin is my favorite. Watch out, Boston. Watch out, sweetheart. Move over. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, I'm going to do a box of Hot Wheels, which I had my phone set up for this so that you could see them all, but my phone died, so I've got to, like, reposition it. Um, I was going to do it while T was, um, but she's not back. Let me see if I can do it really quick. I may not be able to do it. Just talk amongst each other for a minute. Okay, it's letting me enter. All right, let me just set it up. It up. Hold, Hold on, on, I need, need to mute it. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry, sorry. Okay. okay, is that, that muted? muted? No. no. Mm -hmm. Hello? hello there hello okay it's muted all right let me just set this up one second and we'll go there okay let's see i'll show you what i've got hot wheels um, Shriker, start them at whatever you think. I'll show you what I have. Hold on, I'm trying to get used to, maybe I should go back to my old way until I can get used to doing this. I need to set up a 
better set up. Anyways, that's what it is. Um, does it have the year on it? It says 03, 04, and it's probably too blurry for the year, right? Can you see the year? Mm. Here, I'll show them to you. I'll show them to you like this, and then I can go back and show them to you again. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is the echo gone? The echo's gone, right? It was just for a minute until I muted. Eight. Nine. No more echo. Okay. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. So you get a lot of doubles in here and triples. Thirteen. 14, 16, 17, This one, Shrika, looks cool. Hot Wheels. New for 2013. It's like a little mini bus. It's adorable. It's so cute. These are all brand new. Hi, Matthew. What was I at? 17? 17. 18. 19, 20, Jeep is cool, 21, 22, 23, yeah, I like the Jeep. And 24. So there's 24 of them. The Jeep is a 506. Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. 2010 new models is what it says on the Jeep. Two Jeeps, three Jeeps, four Jeeps. I don't know. One, two, three, four. Five. There's five Jeeps. Five Jeeps. Five of those. And then... I'll just show them to you like this as well. Those are cool. Easy to post, easy to list.
Oh, it's a Shelby. Hey, Carl. Welcome in. When did you sneak in? Carl, did you get your um your stuff? I, I didn't check the tracking. I was away, but it's been on my mind. Did you get them? Look at those, you guys. Those are so awesome. Oh, did you get him? Thank you, Linda. Maybe he left again. Desert Jill is in at 40. Nice big lot. 24 of them, guys. All in excellent condition. Thank you, girl. Jenny's out. Linda's still in. Desert Jill is at 45. I love this one. Shelby. That one's awesome, too. Linda's out. Linda's out, and we have girl at 45. Girl is at 45, yes. them
And we are sold, sold, sold. All right. Sold, sold, sold to girl, does it go? Oh, does he? That was my favorite too. Okay, we're going to do another mixed lot of, I don't know what's here, but we'll see what started at 25. So this is Pearl's Lady of Spain again. <clears throat> so there's that. And here's this box. And in it. This is all vintage jewelry. Ooh, look at that. I have no idea what it is. We're going to explore this together. It looks like a locket. Yeah, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful locket. Where's my camera? Here. It's a beautiful locket. The back of it is black. The front of it is like that. And it doesn't, oh, it says something, it says something on the chain. This does have a maker's mark on it. This is the box that it came in. And the box says jewelry by, what's it say, Park Lane? Yeah, jewelry by, by like Park Lane is what this one is. This next one is another genuine abalone pink. It's very pretty. Little pink abalone necklace. And next we have East Greenwich, Rhode Island. And the initial on it is A. And there are these pretty dangly earrings with pearls inside of them. Let's see. They're from each, uh, East Greenwich, Rhode Island. Next is another amazing pair of cufflinks with a tie tack. Look at those shimmer. Those are beautiful. They're like deep purple and they have that star that just shows up when you just tilt it a certain way. See it? So nice. And the, they have a big R. And they come in this very beautiful box. Okay. That's going to be in the lot. And... Here's the next one. And inside this box is a whole bunch of this fashion style. Fashion style, interchangeable, vintage earrings, fashion style. I guess you change the pearl on them. They look like they're clip-ons. Yep, they are. They're clip-ons. Pretty. We'll put those there. And a piece of cotton one in with that. Next, we have this. Sarwatsky Crystal Memories. And it is a very beautiful Sterwaski heart keychain. So Sterwaski crystal. Next we have this box. And in this box, it's scary. 
This is a scary box. Uncurated, untested. This is how I got them. Please, if those are real diamonds, would you do something nice for me? Is that e begging? Am I e begging by saying that? Okay. You're not answering me. Someone answer me. These all came from the same estate, you guys. And you can No, you're not. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> you scared me. Fine gold finish. Cultured pearl. The fine gold finish. No, people do nice things when they find treasures in lots that I send them. It's happened before. Thank you for those of you that have. This is a great lot, you guys. Look at this. Woo! Love it. Okay. There's more. Hold on. Hold on to your horses. There's this box. It's upside down. What's it say? House of... House of what? Bordello? Wait a minute. B-O-R... House of Borvani. It says House of Borvani on this box. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, pretty. What is that? It says, mail your, what's it say? Mail your orders to, all right, I got to read it. Mail your orders to Bravani, P.O. Box, Pawtucket, Rhode Island, Engraving on most charms at 10 cents a letter. Send check or money order. And it says on this one to remember. A date to remember. It says a date to remember and it's not engraved. But it says a date to remember on it. It does sound expensive, and there is some sort of marking on it. I can't see what the marking is. It says, oh, oh, it says O-P- Just me, just me, Zin. O-P-C-O. O-P-C-O is what it says. Like the term YouTube begging? Yes, Jill. YouTube begging. That's so pretty, you guys. Isn't that a beautiful charm? Okay, so that's going in the lot. And this is going in. Picture perfect oval pin by Barlow, hand painted in the USA. And it says, the rare beauty of Barlow Designs. Barlow Design Incorporated, made in the USA. It's very pretty. That's going in there. Looks like she never wore it. She bought it and never wore it. And then who wants to guess what's in this one? I think it's men's stuff. I can get it open. Ooh. <laughs> There's nothing in it. <laughs> what does it say? It says, a justo contra angle set. Some sort of, you know what? The box might be valuable, you guys. You never know. But it was part of the lot. Just one piece in there. That's going in a lot, even though there's nothing in it. And then this is the last one. That's all I got. Everything I bought. Ooh. Ooh, now this is pretty. It 
It's a penny. It's a penny and it's bezeled in this. What kind of penny is that? Is that a special penny? Does anybody know in the chat? Looks like an Indian head. Is that an Indian head? Yeah. Valerie's in for 60. Pam is out. Just me is in at 65. So that's everything, folks. That's the whole lot. I want to look at these with the Donna loop because these are amazing. Let's see. Let me put myself back on. And here's my loop. Yeah, those are pretty. I don't know what R stands for, but I don't know what causes that design in there, but yeah, really pretty. Those are beautiful. Those are so pretty. Valerie is out. This one's really pretty too. That's beautiful. Let's see, Valerie is out, just me is at 75. Is anybody else? No, right? Is that it? Was there anybody else bidding? I don't remember. I think they all went out. Pam went out. Valerie's out. And yes, just me is at 75, less person. Okay, let's close it. All right. Let's close it, let's close it, let's close it. This is beautiful. I love this too. The Sawaski keychain. Somebody's asking for the year on the penny. Oh, Jill. Um, let's see. It's got to be special, right? Why would they bezel it like that? 1902. Into no two. Desert Girl comes in for eighty. It's pretty, it's a pretty pendant. You guys, this stuff came out of a very wealthy Palm Beach estate. 85 to just me. Just jewelry box after jewelry box of just unworn, like, like who buys stuff and just leaves it in the jewelry box for years and years? Oh, look at that's like an eagle on top of a planet, it looks like, right? I wonder if that's like significant to something. You see it, T? Yeah. I don't know if that has any kind of significance. Oh, but, stop it, Moses. But you know, look at, right? Each Greenwich, uh, East Greenwich, Rhode Island, and then they move down here. And then the kids don't want any of their stuff. Why oh, is that, Shadow Mar Banana says that's the Marines, U.S. Marines. Oh, is it the U.S. Marines? Oh, so, hmm. <clears throat> interesting. Interesting, interesting. Oh, don't forget about this one, too, you guys. This one was so beautiful. And those earrings. This is this one is so pretty. 
and it's an excellent condition. It's a beautiful locket. I One point in out a desert girl. Just I me is out. I can't get it out, but it is brand new. She must have got it as a gift, maybe. You know, it's like, it's like, what do you buy someone something for someone who has everything, right? So they went and bought a keychain from Sirwaski Crystal. That's what that is, right? She probably got that as a gift and never used it. So pretty. These are my favorite. Oh my gosh. Those are so beautiful. I could see a woman wearing those. That's like a piece of jewelry, right? Yeah. They must have gone to pretty some pretty lavish parties because that first lot that Susan bought was amazing. Also, the um cufflinks. That's it. That's all the jewelry I have from this estate. I showed it all tonight. I was going to spread it out, but I get excited. Oh, and don't forget about this. I don't know what this is, but this is pretty special looking. Barlow. Barlow, USA. Barlow Design. Really USA. All right, honey, let's close it. We're sold. Sold, sold, sold to Desert Girl. Thank you, girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tia, I'm putting you on. Okay, honey. All right, we're going to do some more books. This is sports related now. Wait till next year, Mike Lupica. Nineteen eighty nine. Nice condition. The Olympic Games from Ancient Greece to Mexico City. Yes, guys, don't forget all of our listings on the challenge. Don't forget I'm putting I'm putting ninety nine cent free shipping more items up tonight. Nineteen sixty eight. How to bat. Got a torn dust jacket, FYI. 1963 second printing. So more 99 cent free shipping items going up tonight. Steinbrenner, The Last Lion of Baseball by Bill Madden. Got a little bit of tearing at the bottom of the dust jacket. Um, to Bill, one of the boss's boys with all best wishes, Bill Madden, 512-10. Again, Bill is the guy, Bill Steimers, he's the guy who um, I got a lot of this, a lot of this collection is from him. He worked in the industry. Not, I haven't really narrowed down his whole um, kind of, Stint. He was in the media. That's about all I know. You guys will have to do the research if you haven't already. And this one is 2010. So it is a first first. It's not in the greatest of conditions, but you're definitely going to need to describe it with some, some of those issues on it. Dust jacket's not great on that. You can't steal first base. Jimmy Dykes and Charles O. Dexter. Well, that one's not bad, and that one is from 1967 first. So nice condition on that one for 1967. Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> A little play on. 
Hilarious True Stories of Baseball by Bob Euchre and Mickey Hershkowitz. Oh, and it's signed. It's signed by both Bob Euchre and to Bill, best wishes. I mean, I should sign dedications, right? Both to Bill. And this one is 1982. 1982 on that. The Realm of Sport. Herbert Warren wins. Nineteen sixty six was a good year. <laughs> and again, Dust Jacket does have and the and the spine has a little bit of issue. Um, but nineteen sixty six on that book. This is called the Baseball Blue Book. 1776 to 1976. I guess it has baseball agreements, some rules of the club, the National League, the American League. And then this one is Play It Again, Bud. Some staining here. That actually might, if you do it very lightly, may come out. October 1973, second printing. And it looks like it could be horse racing. Nope, it's all sports. All sports. Oh, did I give you guys a year on this one? Yes, I did, right? 1973, yes, yeah, second printing. Okay, all right, so that's what we got. We've got one... Two, try to put it in size order, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And again, they're all sports oriented. Oops. Hey, Franklin Hill. Jenny's in at 28. Thank you guys for all coming in. Thirty from thirty to Franklin Hill. Oh, Carissa, you're trying for the Lisa Frank Courtney. What's it up to now? Don't type it in the chat. Never mind. <laughs> Cliff, what's happening? Boondock Mercantile in the house. How are you, sweetheart? Good to see you. All right, anyone else? We're going to call it to Franklin. Ah, okay. Now oh, it's nine o'clock already, huh? And we're sold to Franklin Hill. 
Thank you, thank you. 4.30. Thank you, Franklin. All right, let's do these. I have some Rolling Stone magazines. Okay. November 1984. Steve Martin. November 22nd, 1984. Madonna. December 6, 1984. Great Faces of 1984. A Year of Music. January 3rd, 1985. January 17th, 1985, All in Oats. January 31st, 1985, Be the Idol. February 14th, 1985, Valentine's Day. Mick Jagger. Trying to keep them in some order. I don't know that they all follow suit because it looks like now we're going to 1987. March 26, 1987, the Bengals. April 9, 1987, Woody Allen. Bowie, April 23, 1987. Hendrix, June 4th, 1987. Right, me too, Franklin. <laughs> June 18th, 1987. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And May 21st, 1987. Look at that hair. Bon Jovi. <laughs> All right, so we've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and lucky 13. Woo, woo, woo. Any interest? If not, we'll pass on them. If not, we'll pass on them. Let me know. 13 of them. All right, Franklin Hill's going to come in for 25. Someone want to do 27? Again, you got to get a few from 1984 and then a few from 1987. All right, Jack comes in for 27. Thank you, Jack. Flippin' Hot Finds is in at 30. Some of these are really thick.
Okay, Franklin. Eva Lenny, ahoy, ahoy. Where have you been, my friend? MIA. You've been MIA. Must be busy. It's all good. How are those grandkids of mine? <laughs> all right, there you have it. Jack, let us know. We have flipping hot finds in at 30. Jack's in for 32. Flipping Hot Finds comes in, keeping your son busy at work, and the little ones are Easter bound. Okay. I guess they're off this week. Um, well, I don't even know if they're in school yet. Flipping Hot Finds comes in for 35 now. Well, I'm glad you're keeping my son busy. That's important. I try to keep him busy, too. Jack's going to be out. We're going to call to Flipping Hot Finds at 35. And flipping half of finds is winning it for uh, 35. Lot number eight. All right, let's see if you guys are having any interest in some cars. Motor Max, number 7320124th Diecast Collection. And this is, look, looks familiar, <laughs> looks familiar. <laughs> but you guys are no better than me. Box has seen better days. All right, so we got that one. Next one is this Brickyard 400 1955 Chevrolet Diecast Bank Coin Bank with Lock. I knew it looked familiar, Shriker. It's a 57 Chevy. I knew it was. I should have known that. I really should have known that. Okay, this is this is an Ertl. It's Mountain Dew motorized action, motorized pullback race car. Daryl Waltrip. Oh, Donna, look at the number on the car. Number eleven. Eleven. How many total? I don't know. A few. <laughs> I don't know. I'm grabbing. I'm grabbing. I'm grabbing. I got to move these out of the way. I don't know how these games. I have some games. I forgot about these games. I'll do some games too. Express Master Highway Hall. RC Highway Hauler. Uses three double A batteries, not included. It's got a 2003 on there. This says it's radio controlled. I don't know. How many total strikers? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a few little ones. This is a 
Newton's Cowboys Hot Wheels collection. This looks like something Trick the Team would keep, right? Nineteen ninety nine on that. <clears throat> Battery operated Porsche nine twenty eight turbo turbo flashing headlights. All right, and then we have a bunch of these little piece little ones. This is Batman, the animated series collector sticker included. And this is from 1993, the Ertl Company. So that is by Ertl. This one is The Muppet Show. And that one is Go Racing. This one is Matchbox Honda Insight, 2009 on that one. This one is 2010 on that one. California Custom Corvette Funny Car, 1989. And the last one is 1957 Chevy. Could be a red line. 2006. Oh, really, Shanna? All right, so that's what you get. One, two... Three, four, five, six on the package, small cars, and then six on the larger. Jenny comes in at 42. Thank you, Jenny. Jim comes in at 45. All right, we're going to call it to Pam. Jenny's out. Thank you, Pam. 45? 45. 45 to Pam. Congratulations. All right, Donna, that's my three. Okay. Hi, guys. Okay, I'm going to put the, um, the second camera on. I have a small lot of toys. Um, so this is everything that you get in the lot. I'll show you... 
some close-up shots. I don't know what this stuff is. For people that like to do smalls, this is your lot. Let me know if you want me to look to see. I think this is not a weeble, but it's it's not a weeble wobble, but maybe it's a little people. I'm not sure. And this little color quest, it says on it. Um, it's a little Mickey Mouse. It has a button on it, but I think you have to change the battery. It's not working. So you'd have to probably change the battery on that. And then, um, I don't know, is that Saxton? <laughs> right, the ninja. There's some guns. I don't know what the guns go to, but it's just a small lot. See if anybody was interested in doing just a small lot. That's G.I. Joe. Is that G.I. Joe? We all know who that is. Dibble toys, right, Jenny? I can't even talk about these things because I don't even know what they are. So sorry. What year on the Vader? This one? Um, where would it be? Would it be on the foot? It's a Kenner, 1996, the 1996 Vader. This guy here. Jenny's out. Saxton's at 21. Thanks, Saxton. Sell it, sell it, sell it to Saxton. Shoot, I'm sure this goes to something, some sort of gun, to some toy.
may not make to lava lamp early tomorrow. Well, come, Jenny. What's going on? You going to sleep in? Going to be there tonight? All right. We're sold to Saxton for 21. Awesome, Saxton. All right. So I was thinking for those of you that bought gift cards, I think the way I'm going to keep track of it is that I'm going to bill you for the amount that you paid for the gift card, but don't pay it. Is that going to be confusing to you guys? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to deduct your purchases from it until it goes to a zero balance. Does that make sense, T? That how way, you, can, I, I'm not sure how you're going to do that. What are you going to do? Allow partial payments? Yeah. No, they've already paid. Right. I'm just going to deduct from the amounts. Okay. It's just going to be an invoice, but I don't want them to pay it. Like the first line is going to say, do not pay. So they know not to pay it. And then I'm going to deduct each purchase, the date and the purchase that they made. Got it. Until it gets to a zero balance. That way I can keep all, I can keep track of it. I think that, do you think that's a good idea doing it that way? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's definitely a way to keep a record for sure. Yeah. I think that's how I'm going to do it. I've been thinking about it and I think that's the best way. Um, Mine's almost spent, right, Susan? I know. All right, you guys. So this next lot is going to be... What lava lamp are you featuring this evening? You might want to think about plugging it in. Um, Let's see. I might do this white one. Let me see if it's plugged in. Do you know how long it takes to heat up? Uh -uh, it's not plugged in. Let's see if this one's plugged in. All right, that one's plugged in. Yeah, it does take a long time to heat up. All right, hold on. Let me put the lava lamp on it. Okay. Oh, this is the purple one, and it doesn't come out very bright. I'm going to do this one here. This is the white one. Yeah. Okay, I've got it on. Okay, ready guys? This is a really awesome lot, I think. All right, here we go. Let me put it on this camera. <laughs> what? We don't care if lava lamp is moving. <laughs> no one pays attention to the lava lamp anyways. You guys, I'm gonna get a nicer box so that you don't see like this is glue. This is a it's a it's a it's a um put a one in the chat if you like the box, put a two in the chat if you don't. Yeah. So these metals, hold on, I'm going to put this in here for a minute. Because to me, like doing it like this is better because they can really see what it is. And Courtney put about 17 twos in the chat. She likes it? No, she doesn't. Oh, you don't like it, Courtney? Neither does Linda, just me, Jade Moon, Carrie. You guys don't like it? You like me using the um, loop better? I like okay. seeing Donna's pretty box. I hate the pretty face. I hate the box. Oh, that's nice. Okay. And then I like the idea, but the box is too deep. That's what I would agree with. I think you need something more shallow. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix it. I'll do something... This is an auto emblem, civil war, civil air patrol, and you get one, two, three, four. Courtney says, this is what I like about your channel. Five, it's, thanks. Let me show it. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
you get 10 of these. These are pretty awesome. They're, um, they're pressure sensitive backing emblem markers. They're pretty. Aren't those pretty? Yeah. Are you they made of enamel? Are they enamel? They're plastic. They're plastic. They just look like they're metal, but they're plastic. Yeah, they almost look like they are enamel. I almost want to, well, I almost want to put one on my car because <laughs> they're so pretty. <laughs> Even though I have no idea what the civil, civil air patrol is. <laughs> it's a mm -hmm. division of the army. I don't know. But um, these also come in this lot, which are pretty cool. And I don't even know what's in this lot, you guys. I bought this like sight unseen. This is a money clip. Air Force, Civil Air Patrol. Auxiliary United States Air Force. Oh, this looks like it's a knife, not a money clip. Uh oh. Where's what? Moses? Where's huh? Moses? What? Where's Moses? Why? You said knife. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's got a knife in it. Jack comes in at 25. Yeah, it's got a knife. It's got a knife in it. It's like a money clip with a knife or something. I I have no idea what's in here. A lot is in here. Oh my gosh. See now this I should have probably, you know how I put my my stuff on my um my ties. There's a lot in here. There's these. 1607. There's those. There's this. A Sorry, lot. That comes in for 30. There's a, that lot. Ends in for 32. There's a lot of stuff in here, you guys. Is that like the key to the city? I have no idea. 35 to Jack. 75 now to Carl Bach. Hey, Carl. The stuff is awesome. What an incredible collection of stuff. Look at this key. That's crazy. That's a key. That's awesome. Oh my God, check out this key. Civil Air Patrol, 20th anniversary, Yale. The Yale Town Manufacturing. Jack is out. Sergeant Spork is out. Beautiful. This is All a tie. Cleared the field. This is a tie club. Nineteen sixty three. Beautiful. There's a bunch of tie clips here. Twentieth anniversary, Civil Air Patrol. City of Dallas, Texas. The key. The key to the city. Oh, here we go. This is that right here. Playboy. <laughs> that opens the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it is. Oh, that's cool. I'm sure there's two of them. There is. There's two. Oh, no, this one's different. 
That one's different. Okay, so there's there's a whole bunch more stuff in here. Um, I'm going to just let you be surprised when you get it. There's a bunch more pins and things in here because there's a lot more in this box too. These eagle pins are awesome. All right, so I'm gonna eighty dollars now from Kyle Tehran. I'm gonna put all this stuff back inside. And like I said, there's more. You guys can be surprised when you get it. I'm going to. Um, <clears throat> I am going to put them in this box and then just shine the box, um, the camera down so you see what I'm showing. Um, and then I'll continue to show more. We get all of those car emblems, which are really cool. And these medals. Call back, back with a Benji now. Thank you, Carl. Yeah. Those metals are really pretty. And then let's see what's in here. Bunch more metals. Let's see, I'll show you. There's this one. Similar. And this one. Hey, picky Nikki. Back's in for 110 now. And this one. This is like a coin. I don't know what that means. This is a button. Carl's in for 125. Ooh, this one's beautiful. So let me see. Okay, so you get you get two of these and you get two of these in this box. Okay, so that's that box. And then you get this. Oops, look, I'm like showing. And then you get this. Hold on. <laughs> no, go, go, yeah, go, go. Up, Wait, over. Hold, hold on. Up, over. There it is. There you go. <laughs> you get that. And you get. Jackson for 135. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Buttons and pins and a whole bunch of stuff in here. Yeah, I'm not even gonna like, I'm just gonna throw it all in. It's all Civil Air Patrol stuff. Let's look at this one. That's beautiful. Semper Vigilante. Vigilance. Semper Vigilance. Semper. Semper. Semper? How do you say yeah. that? Yeah. Semper. Usually it's Semper Fi, but I'm not sure. So I guess... This was Air Force, so it's not the Marine. So I guess that's what this that is. This is a beautiful lot. Oh 150 God. from Carl Bach, 160 from Kyle. I'm 
And 70 from Jack. That's beautiful too. And oh my gosh, look at this. This is a great lot, you guys. Um, there's still more. I don't know if I should divide it up into two lots or just keep going. It's cloth. It's all embroidered. See how it's cloth? It's beautiful. Well, thank you, Carl. Thank you for the definition. Throw it all in, he says. Carl likes the big lots. We like big lots, and we cannot lie. <laughs> this is just a whole bunch more pins. I'll take them out of this box. This person collected. Oh, these are all backs. These are all backs. And here's some more like silver. Can you see them okay, you guys? They're like silver pins with the eagle like you had before. So that's what's in that box. 200 now from Kyle. Oh, these are beautiful too. Oh, I'm holding it up to the screen and I'm not on the screen. <laughs> There's those. Let's look at this. The USS Ronald Reagan. That's pretty cool. Peace through strength. Let's see. Let's put this. Where's that box here? One of them is backwards on those. These little boxes, you guys, are so expensive. This must be, um, it's like disintegrating. It's They're so old that the foam is disintegrating. But yeah. Then, <laughs> it's like a some sort of lion. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. I don't, I don't know what the significance is of it. Two ten now from Jack. It's all patinaed, so it's a bulldog. What's it say on it? I can't tell what it says on it, but it's all patinaed, so it must be brass, and it turns patina with the, you know. Here's another box full. There's that one. There's that one. There's this one. I'm not really quite sure what that is. Looks like computer something. And then there's this pen. Ace. What's Ace, you guys? What does Ace stand for? I think that's what that bulldog had written on it. Ace. I think it had Ace written on it. Is everybody done and done? Kyle's in at 220. Jack is out. Nikki's having, Nikki's having a blonde moment.
I have one. Should I stop? Or keep going? Another auxiliary patch. Check this one out. This is beautiful. That's a larger version of the small one that I had. Two thirty from Carl. Look at that lot, you guys. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, here's another one of these. See it all. Um, there's this one, aren't they, Susan? They're so cool. Tie clip that's going in there. This was in the lot, but it doesn't have anything written on it. They're just, it's just tie, tie tacks and like tie pins, but it came with that lot. So it's going in there. This one, I don't know what this says. Is that some sort of symbol? Is that some sort of army symbol or something? Anybody know? I don't. It looks like that's almost like a male female sign. Right, Saxton? Tell them, honey. Tell them. I got a New York trip I gotta pay for. <laughs> <laughs> we went to New York this weekend. I gotta pay for my New York trip. <laughs> Gee, I thought that meant she was coming to New York. I got excited. I'm coming. You know I'm coming. These girls are dying. They're dying to come to New York. Seal of Kansas City, Missouri. The cufflinks. And the foam, you can see how old these are. Look at the foam. It's so disintegrated. These have been around for a long time. All right. Are you done? Because I'm not going to put anything else in if everybody's done and done. Carl's like, put it all in. All right, Carl. 250 from Kyle. Kyle, thank you. Look at that one. That's beautiful, too. That's awesome. Here's another one of those. So you get three of those. Um, this was in there. I know that this is one of those like compass things, but it was in there. So I'm just gonna throw it in. You say something on it? No, maybe. Mm, could be. I don't know. You guys look. So that's going to go in there. And I would test to some of these for gold. Nothing's tested. That ace, that bulldog must have something to do with that because that bulldog had ace written on it too. Is that it? And this. Mm. 
and that's going in there. Okay. I'll give you a bird's eye view. That's Susan. You're right. A hundred percent. What's that? When I move closer, there'll be more visits. Right. Okay. Let me put it back on this camera. And that's a lot of stuff. That's a beautiful lot right there, you guys. Hello, hello, hello. Is anybody out there? Out there, out there. Did my chat freeze? No. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. What do you see last? Carol Ann made the last comment. Is that the Statue of Liberty? 260 from Carl Bach. Carl, is that a minus two? Yeah, really. <laughs> what are you doing, 260. Carl? You want me to pay you to take it? Carl, come on. Come on. <laughs> Kyle Tehran, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. It's a, a very impressive lot. Those are, look like they're all military buttons. They are. Throw in some gum. No gum. <laughs> Tease the one with the gum. Enough with the gum. <laughs> I want some trident. <laughs> we don't chew gum in this family. No, we don't either. We pay too much money for. I'm so glad my kids don't like gum. They're not normal kids. I tell you that. I tell you guys that all the time. Carl, ding, 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 ding. Yay, Carl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Woohoo! Brian's in the house. Hey, Brian. Hi, Brian. Brian, look at this lot I have. Is this amazing? This is like a Brian lot. Check this out, dude. Beautiful. Yeah, check it out, dude. <laughs> oh, <no>. Right? <laughs> this is like a Brian lot. He puts out lots like this. Big, huge lots. Kyle, you are you sure? Lot. We cannot lie. Kyle, Kyle, wait. It's only $10 more to outbid Carl. Just $10. That's all it is. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> is that e-begging? All right, Kyle is out. Anyone else? We're going to call it. It's not too late to come in. Brian had some big, awesome lots today. Did he? Yeah, I told you, one lot alone, 850 to Nancy. I went in there for just a minute, caused a little bit of problems, and then left. What kind of problems are you causing? I don't know. I'm talking about... Um, they were talking about any more to throw in. I don't. I wish I did. Let me think. I mean, if you really want to spend some money, I got, I got, I got some of, some of that. <laughs> you got to do that in a different lot. That doesn't go with this lot. I don't even know what I have here. You're going to have to help me with that because I have no idea what's in this book. All right. Well, you'll show that. You know, as far as Civil Patrol stuff, I'm trying to think. I think that that's all of it. I'd have to go back out to the truck and see, but I think that's all I got. I thought there was more. Oh, there was, I think there was some patches. Hold on. Hold on. All buddy. right. Hold, Hold on. on. But wait. Uh, Wait, wait, wait. 
I don't know if the patches are Silver Patrol, though. I think they are. I don't even know where those patches are. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, that's me. I'll mute. No, I don't know. I don't know what happened to them, you guys. I'm gonna have to do them in a separate lot when I find them. They're here somewhere. I don't know where they are. She says that about Bill's a bear too. I don't. I only repeat what's told to me. Where are those patches? Darn it. I hope that the patches. I don't think they're civil patches. I think that they're um, like just all different kinds of patches. Let's see if I left them off here. Seriously, you can't find them. <sighs> oh, well. I'll find them. All right, are we done and done? All right, any other interest? We got 310 to Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. Carl, it's not Carl. It's only ten dollars more, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. Just ten dollars more. Carl's out. Nice lot, Kyle. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Kyle, scoring the awesome lot. Woohoo! It is an awesome lot. Ah! <laughs> oh, Kyle Elliott. Thanks, but I don't want it. <laughs> YOLO. Saxton, I left a list of things that needed to be done one time on the island, like things that needed to be done because I had to leave for the day. I came home and um, across the list in Magic Marker, it, wrote, it said YOLO, one of my daughters. In other words, no, <laughs> we're not doing those chores. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. That was a great lot. Congratulations, Tile. I'm tired. Congratulations, Kyle. That was my lot number 11, I think. And it is the air stuff and it sold for three hundred and ten dollars to kyle to ron awesome kyle thank you sweetheart thank you so much carl for bidding on it i appreciate it okay this is going to be my next slot let's see what's here actually i'm going to do this one as my next lot well i really kind of wanted to empty that box first so let me do this one here because this one i wanted to put in the box and show it to you let's see if there's any interest in this it's um it's a bunch of magazines oh my god i just had like my co-worker was like if you ever get magazines call me okay so this is map skills for today and it looks like it's someone's name on it so it kind of looks like it's just a children's like yeah and it's there's like writing on it but it's just old ephemera i mean the answer the, the questions have been answered so if anybody needs to study <laughs> all the answers are in there can't guarantee that they're right um but that was in the lot. But this is what this is what else I have. I have this boxing illustrated Norton versus Young, the heavyweight showdown. 
Um, this one, the back is ripped on this one. I don't know if these have any value. It's a workbook. It was in with the lot, so I showed it. It's one dollar. It's October 1977 is the date on it. October 1977. This one is um, another piece of modern photography. It's um, it's been folded and folded again. Um, but I'll show you. It's just a um, piece of old ephemera. This one is the ring. Oh, let me let this one out. She's like, all right, go. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> This one is 1977, $1 United States Championship Tournament, the ring. So I'm assuming that this is boxing as well. It's called the ring. This one is 1978, the ring, special 96 page issue. It's an excellent condition. The British are coming, 1994, the ring. So there's boxing people out there. Here we have another um, the year on this one is February 1998 on this one and they're really good condition. This one is looking for the date, March, 2005. Two thousand and five, April. Nineteen seventy nine, the champions, the top contenders, Larry Holmes, and I don't know. Are these worth anything, you guys? I thought they were really neat. May nineteen sixty four. Um, March, I don't know what year, is there, is there Amy? I don't know what I have here, so I have no idea. Um, but I got a big stack of them. This one is. Thank boxing. you, Carl. You too. Have a good night. Is Carl going to bed? Yep. Good night, Carl. Go. Gotta go packing and then lay down. Yeah, we're gonna call it soon. Thirty-five cents for this one, but it doesn't have a year on it. Should we pass, you guys? Is anybody interested? This one has, this one is Ali's coming back series. And then this one. This one is 1979. Excellent condition. I'll bring them back another night if nobody's interested. Yeah, they, you just not, might not have the right buyer here for boxing because I saw I've sold these magazines, so maybe just the right buyer is okay. not here. So we're gonna right. pass on it, guys. We're gonna pass on it. We'll pass. We will pass on these. Um, I do have this I want to show tonight. 
Um, Pam, we're going to pass on it, honey. We're going to pass. We'll bring it back another day. Thank you, Pam. Yeah, we're going to pass. So this is a... Um, Thanks, Amy. Yeah, I will. So you guys help me out with what this is. Colorado T1000E. It is looks this, like a disk drive. Is it? Yeah, that's what it looks we, like. We have a whole bunch of movies on disk. Installation guide. It probably wouldn't work with today's computers, though. You'd probably have to use an old computer, right? And it has the power cord, and it has um, a bunch of discs in here, too. Yeah, and those so, are floppy disks, yeah. We have a whole bunch of pictures on flop, floppy disks from when the kids were little that we never, like, transferred over. I wonder if this is the type of device I would need to train. Not that I would ever find the time to do it, but... Okay, so that's one item. This is all going to be one lot, okay? That's one item. Oh, Carl is still here. And then I have all, all of this. I don't know if there's a market for this stuff. There's all of that. And then there's this. Oh, yeah, you didn't bring the sports cards. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's this. And then I did some comics earlier. And then I have this. This is all one lot. This is brand new. It's never been opened. Oh, yes, it has. It's been opened. There's that. And then... There's this final electronics. So you get two electronics and you get all of that other stuff in this lot. And this one is. This. Another disc player T. Um. Yeah, that actually looks like it holds. Yeah. All the manuals are in here. All the books. Brian, you missed all of that stuff. <laughs> in, Brian. He's saying sports cards, comics, figures. You've missed it all, Brian. You're late. We're on five hours and 20 minutes. All the wires, zip drive. All the wires are in here. All the manuals. Watch comes in for 20. All the manuals are in here. All the plugs are in here. It, they're like, they're, they're, they're kept, they were kept in excellent meticulous condition. Clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle. Is an external drive. Do people use this kind of stuff still? What kind of car? Oh, a car for Cody? You were out shopping for a car for Cody? Oh. Perfect condition. Like almost never. Twenty two from KJ. And they come in these awesome cases with all the manuals, all the plugs, and then all those discs. All right, Carl. Good night. Oh, really, Babette? Yeah, yeah Babette. That's terrible. Yeah. I think that's what happened to Rocky. Sylvester Stallone. No, not Sylvester Stallone. Muhammad Ali, right? He got yep. hit too many times and he's yep. like 
punch drunk, they call it or something. Yeah. It's too sad. Yep, they're in great condition, both of them, plus all that other stuff. But these are the two electronics. All right, KJ's in for 22. Sergeant Sporks is out. Linux is an operating system. Yes. This one. Yep. Well, if somebody has an older computer, they may want, need this, right? Yeah. To run what's on it. I mean, the original price on it was $34.99 at Best Buy's. All right, we're going twice. We're selling it. We're selling it. We're selling it. For 22. 22 to KJ. To KJ. Sold, sold, sold. Awesome, KJ. Thank you so much for buying it. Um, I'm going to show the, I'm going to show the baseball cards and then I'll pass it over to you. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is, this is how I found it. I don't know what's in here. I have no idea. Basketball. I don't know if it would be better if I do it like this. Let me see. We switched the camera and okay. <laughs> what did he say? Now I can get my computer up to date. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. No, I, I got to set it up so it's it works better. <laughs> Ryan, stop. <laughs> I think I'm better off doing it like this for tonight and I'll fix it. I'll try to fix it for tomorrow afternoon when we come on. We'll be on right after Mr. Buys a lot tomorrow at four o'clock. Okay, so this is what I have. You guys tell me if this is anything. Where's the treasure hustlers? Have they been lurking all night? So this is all basketball. It says baseball on it, but look, it's all basketball. Is there any desire for basketball? Sure. Anything good here, you guys? Do you know basketball, T? I know some players. Are these newer? It looks like you're going to have some hockey now. And there's some baseball. Randy Johnson. No, Dave Johnson. Okay. Hmm. Nothing, nothing. Hold I think you just skipped a page. Hmm? You just skipped a page. Did I? Well, the empty sleeve's got to be worth something. <laughs> right? No. Can I sell you these empty sleeves, Tate? 
I have plenty. Oh, sorry. But Brian's going to give you 20 bucks for it. He is. Brian needs to give me 20 bucks like a hole in the head. I'll tell you what, Brian. If nobody else bids, I'll trade you for some of those. Uh, I don't think they're black light. My daughter was going gaga over that that poster, remember? I don't know how much he sells those posters for. Frank Thomas rookie card. Is that? At the last page. Last page. Top. Top. The other way. The White Sox card. <laughs> Brian's like, I have space for those cards. The album's nice, Brian. That's what I should have done, give you a stack of cards to take home. You could fill in the empty sleeves. I know how I didn't know how. I didn't know I had this. <laughs> so I had no idea I had this. Do you remember which one it was, T? I don't. She looked at so many of them. She did. It was the one that was like... We'll have to go back. Well, you were recording at the time, so we should go back and look at the recording. Oh, yeah. It was the one that was like... Um, a black light poster, but I said, is this a black light poster? And I think you said, no, it's just fluorescent. Yeah. So, all right, Brian, it's yours, honey. Thank you so much. I'll send that to you. Okay. You're up, T. Okay, I'll bring you in. I'll bring you in. I've been on for five and a half hours. I'm tired. I'm tired when you're having fun. I know. And I got to get up at seven tomorrow morning and go get my plush. Because last call, last call for anybody who wants plush. We'd love to take some pre-orders. And last call for anybody who wants a sports lot for $50. 30, 30, and two. I found a lot more basketball and football. I'll bring some of that tomorrow night. And uh, I have I have other stuff. I have some vintage games, some sealed. I have a sealed, I think, racing po puzzle. I just I'm 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 I faded fast. <laughs> yeah, I know. Me too. Um, so don't forget to go over to Mr. Buys a lot tomorrow at one o'clock, one to four. And then we're going to be back here on T's channel tomorrow night at 4. We'll do it for 4.30. But like today, if Brian goes over a little bit, we'll push it out a few minutes like yeah. we did today. It's fine. Yep. He goes on from like 1 to 4.30, 5 o'clock sometimes. So um, tonight. Yeah, we'll go for 4.30. And we will, um, Amy, come over to... Um, Lava Lamp Live, if you're not doing anything, we're gonna I'm going to set it up right now. And thank you, Jack. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, everyone that came in and that bought. You guys are great. Thank you guys. We really appreciate you. You guys got some really nice stuff tonight. Thank you, guys. Um, Brian, you got any knives? <laughs> Moses. Moses, he's like, nope. <laughs> Moses is looking for those knives. Um, I actually found, I saw, I didn't grab it, but I saw a nice knife in the unit today when I went there. I'm not bringing it this week, though. I'm just telling you right now, Richard, because I'm going to wait till I get through some other stuff. But yeah, go ahead and go over to our our eBay stores and, and bid, guys. I put some more 99 cent stuff up. I'm going to put some more up. And it's going to be a regular thing for me. 99 cents free shipping. Really? Yeah. You're going to do more of it? Yeah. I know you've been talking about vamping up your eBay store. I, I don't 
I don't think I have the time. I mean, I wish I could, but when well, I, saw, if I can do that, it keeps my store active. When I saw one piece of plush for $40 and then I saw one whole lot for $40 here at the auction, it makes me want to sell more on eBay, but I'd rather do this and hang out with you guys. Plus I, I just get so much volume so much volume and stuff. Look at Schreiker. He's got all of the, look at him go. I know. He's got all of the, um, Schreiker, thank you so much. You're unbelievable. Hey, Chachi, welcome in. New here, Chachi. More. Hi, Chachi. Were you going to say good morning? <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. I'm, I'm punchy. I'm punchy. I'm not bringing you coffee. <laughs> I know. I want my morning coffee in bed. Oh gosh, are you kidding? Mister buys a lot. She, she she sold the whole lot of them, Brian. Wow. Where were you, Brian? He's oh, and if you guys like that baseball sheet that I have over on eBay for auction, I may bring a sheet. I have another sheet. It's a different one tomorrow night um, for auction. Top of the morning to you, Anthony says. Good morning, Anthony. <laughs> All right. I'm going to set up Lava Lamp Live, and um, I'll invoice everybody tomorrow. I'll try to get all this stuff out tomorrow, especially, especially um, Dragon Smoke wants his plush lot to go out tomorrow for sure. Yeah. Amy Dorito, I have your dog lot. 13 lots, five like hours. But a lot of the lots took a long time. <laughs> Good night, Courtney. And don't forget to go over to Courtney, please. She's awesome. All right. I'm I'm going to hang up. I'm going to set up lava lamp. We'll see She's going to hang up there. now, guys. I'm going to hang up now. <laughs> I'm going to hang up now. Bye, you guys. Thank you.